Hey guys, guess what? You've made it to bronze too. Congratulations, you're one step closer to getting really good at this game. Bronze 2, Terran action right here. Uh, I know my bronze 1 video. I, I, I kind of oh, I kind of want to... Yeah. I wanted to give you guys a little a brief visual. Uh, Sky Tail Studios, thank you for the 1903 sub. Thanks, man. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a visual of like what bronze, in my opinion, could look like for Terran. But I think I'm going to throttle it back even more for the rest of bronze. And what I mean by that is I think in Silver League, I'm really going to... I'm really going to talk a lot more about walls, proper walling situations, all those kinds of things like that. But for the rest of Bronze, I think we're just going to focus on the super basics, like, for instance, making just economy. So that's what we're going to do in Bronze 2 or in Bronze 1. We're just going to focus on that economy, dude. And uh, something else I wanted to say that's super important that you guys should all know. Uh, I want to just address something really fast about the best investment of your time and what i mean by that is if you're i want you to take a second okay if you're watching this video right now take a second and think about it and go <clears throat> do i what do i want out of starcraft 2 do i want to be masters do i want to be grandmaster do i want to be diamond one do i want to be in diamond at all if the answer to that is yes, and you want to go, you want to go above Diamond League, like you don't want to just get to Diamond Three, you want to go beyond Diamond Three. I recommend you continue to watch this series. Watching the series on YouTube, but wanted to show love. Heart with arrow. Thank you, you five, for the five hundred bits, dude. Much love. Uh, if you want to go beyond Diamond, I totally recommend you. Uh, <clears throat> you keep watching this bio series, but if you're looking to do a series that just literally like if, if your goal is like okay i just want to get the platinum i just want plat and i'm good or i just want gold i just want to, to get into diamond i just want to have it go promoted to diamond league and then i'm going to stop like that's i just have like this oh, goal in yeah. mind where i have a stopping point if that's actually what Love you have vibe. yo fiosto thank you for the 10 month three sub and uh fig newton fig Nuticus, thank you for the five month three sub if your goal is just to get to diamond and stop or anything below that and stop oh. I actually recommend you watch the 2019 series instead of BDGM, which represents uh, Terran mech going Hellbat Thor. It's Hellbat Thor is legit easier to get to Diamond to get into Diamond with, but the problem with Hellbat Thor is once you get into Diamond, it is really hard to progress from that point because Hellbat Thor doesn't really work the way it like you can't go Hellbat Thor in Diamond. You just can't. So you have to like kind of shift gears entirely and do something else like you start going bio in diamond and a lot of people last season had a lot of struggles doing that because they we were like oh my god this is so overwhelming some people were able to do it but a lot of people struggled so i just want to throw a disclaimer out there mech hellbat thor easier to get to diamond league with than bio bio going to be easier to go beyond diamond with so think about your goals and what you want to do with this game uh realistically to also i'm building my wall though <laughs> Whatever. Uh, just think about your goals realistically and, and just try to pick something that you think will make sense for you. So you can save yourself some frustration, essentially, if you're, you know, if you think about it in a way that makes sense. <clears throat> Anyways, what are we doing, guys? What are we doing? You know what we're doing? We're making economy. We're, we're prioritizing the economy of the build. We're going for... Uh, <clears throat> a mineral focus again we we talked about this a bit yesterday uh we'll talk we'll touch on it again because this, this is what you need to learn in browns we'll, we'll keep talking about it repeatedly I'll, I'll drill it into your heads until you can't take it anymore <laughs> but we're, we're doing really uh heavily is we're trying to make sure you guys understand if our build is going to be a build that revolves around SCVs, around supply depots, around command centers, oh, around making yeah. marines, around things that cost no gas, we're not going to prioritize gas. So if you noticed, I did build my first gas with my first barracks because it allowed me to eventually take my factory, but I didn't take my second gas until we were way after like fully saturated on the mineral line. Like we, we, We're not disrupting the 16 here, and we're, we're going to do the same thing on the natural. We're going to not take our gas until we have 16 on the natural because our build is all about command centers, SCVs, supply depots, and just mineral cost things mostly. 
Oh, uh, no we're actually supply blocked for a second here. So we can fix that. Yeah, B2G. If you ever supply block, don't. Love learning about this game. Yo, Gaffy, thank you for the 613 sub. And I was a fat kid, thank you for the five. If you ever supply block, feel free. You can always drop a call down supply if you need to. That is totally viable. Don't feel ashamed. Okay, it's okay. It happens to the best of us, right? <laughs> Although a mule is more effective than call down supply. They both cost 50 energy, but a mule mines way more than what a supply depot's value is worth, which is why supply is not as valuable as the mule. Uh, if you you don't want a supply block for a long time either, that's if it, if the mule is at the cost of you supply blocking for like 18 seconds or something, call down supply. It's not worth it to stay supply block for that long. Okay. So we're macroing. Again, what we're doing, hotkey wise, hotkey wise. Or actually, we're going to expand really quickly because we're fully saturated on that base. So let's go ahead and take an expansion. Now, hockey wise, again, what we can do, we can click our command center, click our other command center, we control five it. We can hold shift, we can, we can deselect it now, just click a barracks, hold shift, click another barracks, our factory and the starport, and hit control four. Whatever control groups you want to use is fine. I use five and four. You can use whatever makes you comfortable. But now we can go five, SCV, SCV, four, marine, 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 hit tab to, so, to rotate to the factory, make tank, hit tab, medevac, medevac. Insufficient and now we can take our gas at our natural because we're you know we got plenty of gas or plenty of resources for the mineral line. We can grab some SCVs for some supply depots. Just throw it down wherever you want to do it. And now we can hold shift with all these SCVs selected and re right click the mineral line so those SCVs don't sit there for a long time and wait on their ass doing nothing. Throw down a couple of uh, engineering bays in our main because again now that we got the gas going. In our natural, we can actually afford gas costing things like more upgrades now, more investment. Marine, marine, marine. Tank. Medevac. SCV, SCV. We can click this command center. Hit shift 5. Adds it into our command center control group. So now we have, you know, our command center is rolling really well here. We can relocate all of our rally points of all of our command centers to the natural now. We can fix the natural here. So put some SCVs on gas. SCVs on gas. Grab like five off, put them on the third. And again, all we're doing right now, all we're doing is making an economy. We can siege these tanks. Let's actually stop making tanks. Uh, I, I think four tanks is good. We don't need to make more than four. Okay, at this point now, we're going to make our upgrades for weapons and armor, for bio weapons and armor. We're going to make medevacs. And we're going to make marines. And then now we can start making blue flame upgrade with Hellion. Okay? This is, or honestly, you know what? Just for just for bronze, I I know I've been doing this in the first uh, bronze three video. We can just if you if this is too complicated and you're like you know what vibe I don't like the Hellion thing right now. Don't worry about it. Don't do it then. For now, just forget about it. Forget about it. Forget it. Forget about it. It's not a big deal. You don't have to do it. It's just gonna add some uh, meat to your army. It's not what's important though. B two G M time again. So excited. Yo, Saint Steel. Thank you for the three one three sub. Thank you, man. So again, all we're doing, all we're doing is we're producing as much as possible. We're making Marines. We're making tanks. Or we're making medevacs. We're making, um, you know, SCVs. If you actually want to stop using the factory for a little bit and just practice on just Marine medevac, what you could do is you could shift click the factory. Like hit group four. Shift click the factory out of it. Either there or literally on the factory. Either way works. So we'll do it here in the control group. It's fine. And then hit control four again. And you can deselect it. It's a super easy way to get rid of it if it's something you don't want to mess around with right now. But it, going for medevacs is mandatory. And going for bio is mandatory. So just know that you have to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and make some reactors. Because we can just hold down the C key for reactor. And then all the reactors got made. Make some more supply depots. Just make a bunch and hold shift. Right click the middle line again. Drop a bunch of mules at this base. Okay, or we can make a bunch of marines here, make a couple of medevacs. And this command center just finished. So now we're going to lift it off. We're going to build a new one in its place. We're going to land this bad boy at one of the close bases to where we are, where we, where we have. And the goal again for command centers is going to be uh, we're going to make orbital commands in three of our bases. Our first three bases will be orbitals. And then every base after that, add an expansion, is going to be a planetary, 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 planetary. Because they're more exposed 
and they're, they're more likely to die. But the first three bases usually have the ability to be covered by tanks and stuff, so much more easy to defend. Okay, let's get weapons and armor again for bio upgrades level two. Let's get vehicle weapons. Let's get a couple of more medevacs. Again, you can do this by either clicking the medevac for now. I do want you to use hockeys eventually, but for now, if you have to click the starport, it's okay. Just get in the habit of putting things in your control group as you build them, and then hitting tab. Tab just rotates the subgroup, so it's all barracks or all starport. So if we hit tab, and you can see what's selected as well. See how it highlights what's selected? If we go onto the barracks, all we got to do is literally hold the A key. This is why a keyboard repeat delay is super important, like how we talked about in the intro of the series. So I just hold A, everything gets filled up super fast. I can hit tab, I can hold D for a second, and then there you go, boom. Even if you do something like that, I would say in bronze, that's fine. It's not the end of the world for you. It's better than not macroing. Yeah, we can rotate a command center over here and just keep building one command center at a time. And again, remember our build, how it's all... It's all about trying to produce as much as possible, but if we get to a point where our money is going up faster than we can spend it, what do we do? We add more production. So, And also, no matter what, you want to get to a point. Whether it happens to you during the macro cycles, where you're, if you're playing slowly, or once you max out, you want to add in more production to get to about 20 production facilities the t for everything. Okay? So we're just holding down the A key right now, just to try and max out here. SCV count is almost where we want it to be. It's close, but it's not quite there. And we just maxed out around 11 minutes. We can make a couple of these new expansions that we made, planetaries. But now check this out. So we just made four racks. Control click the racks, shift four. What does four say? You can look at the number right here. It says 11. We want that to be between 20 and 24. So let's not stop. Let's add in like a starport. Let's add in like a few more racks. Uh, we can shift click the middle line with those SCVs. We can click these guys. Upgrade. Make a couple more racks. One, two, three, four, five. Shift click the middle line again. We can actually grab some of these SCVs off as well because it's going to be oversaturated. Command like set them up upgrade. here. Complete. And maybe do like three racks Command up here. So now let's click all our rack stuff we just made. Got the starport. Hold shift and control at the same time. And you can now select all the racks together. Hold shift and control again. You can select all these racks. Just continue to hold shift and control. Click on one of the racks building in the main. Now shift for it. And now we have 24 buildings in the in group four. And now we can definitely have a super scary army. So from here, let's go ahead and scout the map. Scout the map with two marines. And we can make this a reactor on our starport. Let's make like four tech labs on our barracks. Just in case we're going to start making some rotters with this. And make a... Now just hold down the C key again for a bunch of reactors. And you'll hear it go like... There you go. We just made all reactors. And now we can go into... Look at our bases and go... Are there oversaturated mirror lines? Yep. Let's fix that. Grab two of these SCVs off. Grab three of these SCVs off. Send them over somewhere new that's not being really mined. Drop some mules here while we're at it. So what I just did right here is I held... I hit the mule key. My mule hockey, which takes my mouse from a target pointer, or from my pointer to a target, I can hold shift and I can just click mineral patches. Like that. Easy peasy. Now we found his base, so now let's go ahead and grab our army. A move forward. Let's get ready to also start 3 3 because we're ready to go for 3 3. So 3 3 upgrades. We can get level 2 vehicle weapons, which is fine. And let's A move our army like right in front of our opponent's base, like right here. Okay. okay, we're also, we, we also, if we look at this and we're like, oh, dang, in top right, we overmade Marines a little bit, or Bio, and we undermade SCVs a little bit. Again, the number we want to hit is not 73. That's not good enough. We want to hit 80 to 85. So if you mess it up like this, just remax your first remax with some SCVs and then go into Marines and Medivacs and whatever afterwards. Because again, we want to hit 85 SCVs. We, that's a good number. So let's go ahead and A move, shift A move. Shift A move. Research. My army's engaging. Let's go ahead and stim pack my army. Now, anything that dies, we'll, we can replace again with SCV. And we can go into, uh, you know, the good ideal worker count. So let's look at my bases. Make sure everything's good. So we need to make a planetary there. Let's make another command center up here because we need to keep expanding. Because bases are starting to mine out, right? We need to have SCVs that can always be going somewhere new and fresh. Okay, this base is not good. Let's send SCVs over somewhere else. Does not matter where you send them. Just as long as it's not an inoptimal mineral line is all that matters. Okay. And 
We can make more SCVs because we lost a few more units, which is fine. And we're just chilling. We can lower all these depots just to make sure our base is not having a traffic jam. Uh, and yeah, we're just waiting really to... We're, we're waiting for mineral patches to deplete or things to be oversaturated. And, you know, or it's stuff to die so I can start remaking units. Oops, I actually up lifted off all my behind the terries. Let's go ahead and land those all again. <laughs> Sick. Okay. So now I am back up to the point of... Uh, what's it called? 85 SCVs. And then we could, you know, from here we could continue to go back into making units. So talking about this game really fast. Okay, talking about it really fast. What happened is... What happened in this game is, is that we we went for a lot of workers, right? That's all we did. That's the whole point of this build. We went for a lot of workers. We didn't macro it the fastest. That's why we got up to about 3,000 minerals at one point when I wasn't maxed out. Because we're, we're trying to, you know, get comfortable doing it. We're getting better at it, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Not a big deal. The whole point, though, is... We want to try our, our best. Okay, think about it like this. Try your best to start the build off with about one factory, two racks, and a starport. Okay? Try to start it off with about that. The reason why is because this is going to give you a good assortment of things that you need early. You do need these early. If you are the kind of guy that's going to go play beta GM yourself, and you were to, let's say you come to my stream like a week later and you go, Vibe, how do you hold all ins, dude? I don't understand how you hold all ins. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's probably because you didn't do one of these steps right here. These are important to not die to aggressive players. But once you get beyond this point, it doesn't matter anymore. It just matters about how your build efficiency-wise is kind of going. So glad to see you continue to do this teaching. Great service to SC2 community. Thank you, Ralph. Much love, man. Appreciate you. Also, Breadstick Ninja, thank you very much for the thousand bits. Appreciate you as well, dude. Uh, Saint Steel, thank you for the three month three sub. Uh, Gaffy, thank you for the six month three sub. Thank you guys. I was a fat kid. Thank you. Thank you guys. So again, why why are these buildings important? They're important because number one, one of the one of the buildings is a reactor for Marines. It's making Marines. It's giving us actual like military units to fight with. Why isn't the other building, the other barracks, important? It's upgrading things for us because it has a tech lab. So it's giving us things like stim pack and eventually combat shields. It's making our bio much more effective. And finally, what is happening with our factory? Our factory is making, you know, tanks. Why are tanks important early in the game? All, you, all I want you to do with tanks, all I want you to do with tanks, is I want you to make them, and I want you to siege them in front of your natural, and like around the front of your natural, either on the cliff or in the low ground. Just siege them. Siege them. Uh, and then you never, never touch them again. You literally never touch them again. You make like three or four tanks and you siege them and you forget about them forever. And the reason why that's so effective is because if you ever get attacked, this will help you so ridiculously much. I can't even begin to tell you how much it helps. It's like, it's like a form of static defense for Terran. It's so good. Once we get better at Terran overall, we go through the leagues, we'll start using the tanks more effectively. But for now... If you just make them and siege them, you're, th that's fine. You're totally fine. Uh, <clears throat> and then finally, for your starport, you really need this too because obviously it, it makes air units, which the big, big one you want to really be making is the medevac. And you need this to... What it does is it heals your bio. So when you stim pack, you hurt your bio. You actually make your bio damage themselves and they don't regenerate health. So the medevac heals the damage they do to themselves when they, when they stim pack which is very mandatory to have for bio units to be effective. Uh, the other thing is, is the, uh, uh, what's it called? The medevac also just heals through, uh, just damage your opponents do to you. It makes your Marines last longer. So it's medevacs, all these units, Marine tank medevac, all super effective, very important to have. And uh, oh, again, they're yeah. all like, you're getting it as well in an order of the way we do it. Uh, Nico Paul, thank you for the sub man, much love. The way we do it is we go racks, factory, racks, starport. And what this what this ultimately means is, is it's pretty light on the gas. We're not rushing the starport. We're not rushing the factory. Like, with, like, because we're going, well, realistically, we're going 
barracks command center factory barracks starport and the reason why this is not rushing the gas is because we're prioritizing saturating mineral lines and we're slowly adding on factory we're slowly adding on a starport after like we're doing again a mineral priority and what does this ultimately mean if we do it this way Again, look look at the supply really fast. Just watch the supply if we like, like if we speed up the game a little bit. This is where things get out of hand. They get crazy. And then all it is after after you do this, all it is, try to remember every time you get a fully saturated base, go okay, time to expand again. And what do we do? We start an expansion when we hit about 16 SCVs here. Always do this. Every, like until you have about 85 SCVs in the top right of the screen when you look, mouse over your supply. We're not at 85 yet, so we're definitely going to saturate the third and then build a fourth, saturate the fourth, and then build a fifth. But by the time you have a fourth base saturated, you'll probably be around 85 SCVs because it's 22 SCVs per base, and 22 times four bases is 88. So you're going to have a, just slightly less than, ideally, slightly less than four base saturation uh, in terms of like total economy. Uh... And yeah, that's that's really it. It's for like the, just learning how to uh, understand what a build even means in StarCraft, right? It's just add on, like try to maintain production out of your buildings 100% of the time. Try to maintain that, and when you when you feel like your money goes up too fast, and you you even though you're maintaining production, you're like, okay, well now my money is just continuing to go up. Then you can make more production, but you really need to keep in mind. You like this is this is why we're we're drilling this in your mind so hard. There is one common mistake people make all the time when they do this, and it is when players, uh, when they don't build out of their buildings, and their money goes up like crazy, and then they build a ton of buildings, and they go, okay, well, I haven't been producing out of my barracks for the last two minutes, and now I'm going to make ten barracks, and then not produce out of those as well, and then you die. And it's because, why, why does that happen to you? It's probably because you're not doing a rotation of four, five, four, five four five you need to be doing that a lot a lot so like an example would be for next game i'm going to literally show you what that should look like again in a more detail uh of just like properly making units for at least like the first six minutes of the game i won't do it the whole time because it kind of surpasses what bronze i think is capable of uh but it's something you should be practicing a lot but yeah, like if you can, you can see the supply differences here. They're insane, right? And I will times eight this to the end here. And this all comes to the fact that my opponent just doesn't make SCVs. He does not make workers, so he's, you know, very, 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 very low compar comparatively. And this is, you know. It doesn't matter how good your micro is. It doesn't matter how good your scouting is. It doesn't matter. None of those things matter if your supply looks like this. So again, what's the what's the point I'm trying to teach you guys? Understand what how to actually get comfortable macroing. Just you really need to understand that. Like we maxed out when this dude was at like 48 supply. Oh yeah. And it's just because we do a build that makes sense. Mineral focus build. So we mine minerals as a priority. That's all it is. And then we just add shit on as we have money to do it. And we try our best to keep upkeep of their base like going all the time. Okay, so we can jump into the next one. And again, for like the first few minutes of the game, I'll show you what your game should look like. Again, like for like proper macro, what you should be looking for. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bean Sprout, thank you very much for the Prime. Thank you, man. Okay, so click our command center, make an SCV. Now we have the, SCV, the command center selected while we made the SCV. Let's hit control five and we're good to go. Now our command center is selected with a hotkey. So we can always hit five, make SCV, five, make SCV, five, make SCV. And we made another SCV right away. Now depot costs hundred minerals. So let's grab an SCV off and just build a depot. And then we can hold shift, right click it on the mineral line. Hit five, make an SCV. Five, make that SCV. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make that Rex right after. Let's make a gas with it. Five, make an SCV. 
Now, let's go ahead and uh, add on a control group now for our racks. So we can go into, you know, four or five, four or five. That's the whole point of what we're doing all game now. Mineral priority, four, five, four, five, four, five. You really need to practice rotating your control group. If you find yourself sitting here just staring at nothing and going, hmm, what do I want to do? Well, you're wasting time. You need to always just, and you need to get, like do this so often that it's like a subconscious thing for you where you just go four, five, four, five, four, five. You check it like every three seconds or five seconds. Like you're always keeping tabs on it. And once you get to the point to where it's really like solidified into you, you will definitely feel positive results for yourself because it'll, you know, it'll just start, you'll have these internal timers. You'll just like understand. It's like, it'll, it'll feel like breathing to you. Okay, so we're going to expand. We can now click this command center we just built and hit shift five. Now four, make Marine, five. Make it, if he's not ready to make yet. We're also about the supply block, so let's try to make a depot really fast. Okay, the command center is done. So it's done upgrading, so we can make a CV. We can drop a mule. Four, make a Marine. Five, make an SCV. We, ha we have production going on both the whole time. This is great. Now we can grab an SCV and we can make a factory really fast. We can hold shift and make it go mine minerals after it's done. Now check four, make a Marine. Check five, check, make an SCV in your command center. Repeat the process over and 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 over. Okay. Four. Make a marine. Five. Make an SCV. Let's make another supply depot as well so we don't supply block. So we'll just make it over here. Hold shift. Right click your mineral line. Four. Marines got about to finish. We're also, you know what? We kind of need a reactor. So let's go ahead and make a reactor in a second. And uh, five. Make an SCV. Because we already made the orbital. So we're good on that. Now look at this command center. It's green and it's about done. And if I mouse over it, I can see its health bar. So I know it's going to finish right now. So I can hit, click it. Make orbital command for it. And there we go. Now that when that's done, we'll make SCVs out of it. Now continuing the build, let's make a reactor on the racks. Let's make a tech lab on the start on the factory. Let's make a second racks, so we can get stim pack and all that stuff. And let's make a gas now. And let's re rally our command center to our natural. You can tell this SCV to mine minerals. That way we're not going to be oversaturated, right? Because all we need is two SCVs to go into that gas, and we're done here. So we're going five. Now we're double tapping SCVs because we want to make sure both command centers are pumping. Now we can make these this factory and this racks go into our group four. And we can be like four, make a tank, and get ready to make marines in a second here because the reactor is just about done. So five, make a CV. Four, make marine. Tank is still good. Five, make a CV. We can even drop some mules now because we have some extra, extra mule energy. So drop a couple mules there. And then now here's a CV, a CV. We can make a starport with it. Make this a tech lab for the barracks. Now we can click the starport, shift four, and go four, marine, marine, tab, oh, tank. Yeah. Five, SCV, SCV. B2, GM, okay. back, baby. So we, were, we, couldn't, we didn't have enough gas for the tank, so we took a second to make the SCVs first, and then we came back and made the tank, which is fine. Look, this is now done again. Four, make marine, marine, marine. Tab, tank is, or tank's still pretty good. Make SCVs. Four, good, five, good. Additional okay, we're actually supply blocks, so let's go ahead and drop a supply on that thingy. We can make a couple new, S new depots as well here. How's the natural looking? Almost fully saturated, so we're getting ready to expand again. So four, we're not even looking at the, the production now. Four, marine, marine, marine. Five, or uh, sorry, f uh, tab, tank, tab. Look, there's see how there's a T and an R on these racks and these factories? That means reactor or tech lab. Notice how the starport has nothing? Hit C for reactor or click it. And now suddenly you're making a reactor on that starport. Now we can go five, make SCV, SCV. Again, this is the whole point, right? We're just trying to make sure we keep building stuff. Now look at the mineral line, full saturation. Let's grab a SCV, let's go take a third base. We get old shift, right click a mineral patch. Now the SCV will build that and then mine minerals after. Four, marine, 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 tab, make a tank. Now let's rally all our stuff up here. Suck the army, go up to the front. And let's siege our tanks in the front, so we are less likely to die. Okay. Keep making SCVs. Four, five, SCV. Four, Marine, Marine, Marine. Okay. We can siege our tanks now. And look, we can take our gas because we're over saturation here. And we started our third already. So let's take our gas. We're good to go. We can even start some depots over here. <laughs> okay. Base is under attack. Let's not worry about it. 
A move, my entire army down there. Forget it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, right-click a new SCV under that command center because it died. So SCV goes and builds. And four, Marine, Marine, Marine. Tab, tab, medevac, medevac. Let's also start a couple engineering bays. Again, why do we start engineering, engineering bays now? Why does it make sense? These things cost gas to maintain. And what did we just do? Upgraded our gas income by taking our gas at our natural. So we can afford it. We didn't do it when we can't afford it. We did it when we can afford it. So we're good. And now we have five extra SCVs here. So let's take our command centers and rally them to our third. And grab five extra SCVs, which is what the excess is. And select them to our third. So now, perfect base. Perfect base until when these SCVs come back. That would just build the engineering bays. And we're good. Got our upgrades for engineering bay. And then again, marine, marine, marine. Tab, tab, medevac, medevac. Let's get an upgrade like Stimpak. And we're good to go. So again, that's really... Oh, this is really all it is. Like... It's just trying to get in the habit of understanding that you can maintain production on your stuff repeatedly, all the time. Really try to maintain production. This is the hardest thing you have to learn in this game when you're brand new to it. A lot of people in this game, like, don't worry about scouting, don't worry about anything. Literally, just worry about... If you can just do what we're doing right now, where the only time you ever deal with uh, fighting your opponent is when you go, Oh, look. He's attacking me. Select my army at A move that area. Just A move the area. Screw it. Whatever happens, happens. Your chances of winning games is going to go up so much because you're not overwhelming what the processes of what you're doing are. So we're making a few depots. And we're, we just took four SCVs off to make depots. And this is now 12 out of 12. So let's hold shift and send them to the third base. Now look at the third base. It's fully saturated. So let's keep making SCVs because we're not done yet. It's only at 64 out of 85. We need 85. Let's make another command center. And let's hit four, make our production, make our medevacs, make our marines. Also, our money's getting really high, and I'm maintaining production pretty well. So now, let's add some more barracks. Let's add, like, six racks or something. Hold shift. Make them go back to the middle line when they're done. <laughs> Control click the racks. Shift four. Now we're going to have ten production buildings in group four. Good stuff. Okay, let's make our gas at our third. Another thing, again, to note that is important with this build all we're doing guys is we're taking our gas on our first three bases we're, we're basically trying to maintain three bases of gas mining at all times so we're not taking gas at our fourth we're not taking gas at our fifth we're not taking gas at our sixth and why is that because our army is mostly marine which is mostly mineral we're just taking early gas on a, a, some of our bases after we prioritize minerals so we can afford things like upgrades and medevacs and stuff like that Okay, so we can get, let's get our stim pack upgrade. Or our, sorry, our combat shield upgrade. We can make a couple of medevacs. Let's make a bunch of reactors. Also, reactors, like add-ons cost gas too. So we do need a little bit of gas here and there, but we don't need to go crazy on it. Okay, so let's take our expansion. Let's go ahead and build a new one. Make some marines with four. And keep making SUVs. Now, some of you might have the question of going like this. Vibe, I don't understand. Why do I not make tanks beyond four tanks? How come I don't do that? The reason why I don't want you to do that right now, and I want you to do in instead, if you really don't want to make Hellions, just like unselect the, the factory and like bind the control group without it, is because tanks are not good when they're not sieged. They need to be sieged to be effective. And if you have to siege your tanks for them to be effective, what that does to you is it means you have to micro because it means you have to pay attention to your army. I don't want you to have to pay attention to your army right now. So don't worry about it. A few tanks early, Siege, that you just leave there forever are really good because they defend your base really well. They kill any attacks that attack you very easily. But it's definitely not worth trying to aggressively attack your opponent with tanks. It's not worth it. Okay, so we're just holding four. We're hitting, we're hitting four, holding A, making a bunch of Marines. Tab, make some medevacs. Hit D like three or four times. Make some SCVs. We're almost done making SCVs, guys. We're getting close. This base needs to be fixed. Let's grab four SCVs and then shift click them to this base over here. We can rally all my bases to that base, and we can also fix this. This is 10 over. So 10 over would be 2 beyond the first thing. So what this means is, if you select units in a subgroup, each row, there's always 3 rows, and each row has 8 in it. So what are you looking for? You're looking for 8 plus 2 is 10. So we grab 10, and there you go. Boom. We're good to go. Let's take another base. We can have this command center also float over here, and we can even take another base. We can start up more upgrades. Upgrades. We got weapons for a factory, which is going to increase the power of these tanks that will defend our base in case we get counterattacked. 
and we're getting weapons and armor for bio which will make bio stronger now we're gonna we can go ahead and max out and look we're getting attacked again suck my army a move the mini map where we're getting attacked at it's totally fine okay scv count once again we messed it up and we're like oh man i only have 76 i need to be at 85 that's fine again it's very doable just when some of your units die make scvs first until you hit 85 or either until your command centers are fully stocked up or whatever or until you hit 85. okay so let's run one marine around the map on the right side one marine around the map on the left side uh i, I said that backwards but yeah right and left side run marines around and now that we have a bunch of money and we're maxed out let's add to our production we only have nine and we're looking for 20 to 24 so let's make a starport Let's green box our SCVs here in the middle line only if we can, so we don't disrupt the gas. And let's go uh, hold shift and go click. We have barracks selected and we're holding shift and go click, 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 click. All right, that's probably going to put us in the realm where we're looking for. So now hold, keep holding shift and right click the middle line. And now all these SCVs that are building all these buildings are going to come back eventually and they're going to go mine minerals. Yeah, let's lift off this command center that we just made and let's lift it off to another close base we can hit f1 to go back to an idle scv okay that one we can make him mine minerals we can hit f1 again and go to this guy and make him build another command center because again we're we're, con we're trying to take every expansion we can around our base which is fine and look we found a base found a base right here so let's go ahead and attack that what about this guy up here what's he gonna see he sees nothing okay so let's go ahead and do this a move here with my selected army a move here shift a move there a move right here a move here a move here and now our army is going to go around the terran's base all over the place and now when we get really close let's just go ahead and stem pack and call it a day because whatever happens happens with that forget about your army don't micro it what's more important than micro your army is remake having the ability to remake an army now that's fast so let's hold shift to control and like hit four hold shift to control click the starport click the barracks click the barracks click the barracks so we're selecting all these racks we just made shift four and we made up to 25 production buildings so that's a lot let's go ahead and make like five tech lab or four tech labs to go to a total of five because we already have one so we hit x like four times and then we just hold c and now all these racks that we just made are all pumping tons and tons and tons of uh reactors here which is going to allow us to remax super fast complete. we can go for three three upgrades we can get level two weapons for tanks we can this last barracks finished, so we can make a reactor on it. Complete. We can make Marauder upgrade here, cause in case we start wanting to making Marauder. Now let's check our economy. Good. We need to make mules though. Bad. We need to fix that for sure. We need to grab eight SCVs off of that. We need to also drop mules. This one we need to grab four. So let's grab four more. We need to also drop mules. This one good. This one send them all there. Easy peasy. Okay. And now let's make this command center go over here that we just made, and we can make like another command center. Now look at my supply. It dropped a lot, right? So let's fix our, while we're doing everything, let's fix our SCVs. Now we just made one extra SCV and we're at 84 currently and one's in queue, which is going to take us to 85. Um, now let's make Marauders and Marines. So we can make a few Marauders with D, hold D for Marauder, and then hold A for Marine. And just hold it down for a while, complete. hit tab, and hold down D for Medivac for a little bit. And there we go. Now we have Medivacs and two Starports and we have a bunch of Marine Marauder popping out of a bunch of racks. We can do it four and we can like right click the front of our base. This will make the rally point for everything come to the front. Okay, so now we have a bunch of bio coming out, and we, let's just make sure we do it again. So hit four again, start it all over. Hit five, we're good. We can actually, we gotta drop mules, right? Let's drop some mules here. So we hit the mule hockey, we hold shift, and we're just clicking mineral patches. Okay, make a orbital or a planetary fortress there. Let's go to the next base and drop more mules at it. Actually, this one needs to go up here. Okay, so let's drop mules at this base. Click, 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 mule. Okay, we're out of energy for mules, so we're good. Now let's make more marines and marauders and well, we're maxed out again already super fast so now let's a move our army and let's go like this a move here shift a move there shift a move there shift a move there and why are we doing that because last time we attacked the left side now this time let's attack the right side so our army can make sure we're always killing expansions also if you don't like this if you're like vibe this is super annoying the way you build command centers that's totally fine you don't have to do this you know what you could also do just take an SCV and go build at the base. Just go build it. If you want to do that as well, for now, again, I don't care. It's fine. It's more protected if you build your base, the commanders in your base, and you lift them over. But either way is fine. 
Now look at the mini map. Our army's about to engage, right? So let's not micro this. Let's just hit our army and hey, say, hey, guys, stim pack. Forget about it. Again, all we're doing is doing an initial stim pack and then forgetting about our army. Let's go back to macroing. Make some marauders. Hold down D for marauder because it only fills up the tech labs. Hold down A for marine. It fills up all the reactors. Tab, hold down D for medevac. And look at our supply. Within a second, we're like remaxed. And you know what this does? This means that my opponent has to fight wave after wave after wave after wave after wave because you you cannot, again, this is the reason why I'm trying to stress these points so hard, is you cannot win games of StarCraft 2 if you have no endurance. And endurance is having the ability to remax. If you can't remax because you have no endurance, like you're just like a one-pump chump, you just, you just fucking do your first little go at it and then you're like, I'm done. Well... You're going to lose a lot because you're going to have no way to like keep up with people that can actually take the distance. So you got to got to be careful about that. You got to be careful about that stuff, man. Got to be careful. Nice. Nice. Also, guys, can I just say the amount of Terrans that you have to play in bronze is insanely high. I think my entire Terran series has been TVT, 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 TVT. And my Zerg series and my Protoss series, I feel like I played a lot of Terrans as well. Just a lot of Terrans. Tons of Terrans. Everyone's a Terran player at this MMR. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh we're gonna do more as well. For those of you who are like curious about like you wanna know so much more about StarCraft 2 and you're like, Vibe, this really can't be it. There has to be more to it than this. The answer to that question, for if you're that kind of person that's feeling that way, is yeah, totally, there is way more to it than this. And look, another TVT. There is totally a lot more to it than this, but the reason the the thing about all of this is is that you don't want to overwhelm yourself like this is if you can just learn what we're learning right now you're ready for the next step and it's not going to feel like it's crazy overwhelming for you okay so get our mouse in the command center make an scv and do it again same thing again repeat the process boys let's go and right click our or you know what again we're, we're just gonna leave it on the middle line that's fine we'll just make depots behind our base make depots behind the base we'll worry about walls and like summer league so let's make a depot. Hold shift. Click it on the mineral line. Keep making SCVs as much as we can. Additional supply depots required. Okay, and now we make a Rax. Make a gas. Yo, Raven Lol, thank you for the 28 month resub. Bean Sprout, thank you for the or Prime. I don't know if I said that, but thank you guys. Much love. My chat seems to be arguing. I don't know. I'm not really. I can't really read chat right now. We have a little bit of stream delay going on, so I can't really see what you guys are saying. Yo, Theory, thank you for the 500 bits. Theory, oh my god. All right, here we go. Let's go and take our expansion. Again, Rax on four, Command Center on five. Start making Marines and uh, make our orbital command as soon as we can. Big bronze boys about to get slapped up. Yo, Maple Tech, thank you so much for the 100 bits, dude. Much appreciated, dude. Thank you, man. All right. Mm, 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 mm. So now we are going to make our factory in just a second. Command center upgrade complete. We can make our reactor as well. Let's make a factory. Shift right click the mineral line. Click the factory. Shift four to add it into the production control group. Five, four, five, four, five, four. 
Our reactor's not close to being done, so we got still a little bit of time on that. Uh, and yeah, the SCVs still need to get made, and we're good to go. Okay, so it looks like we're under attack, so let's take our selectal army, and let's A-move towards the situation. We just click the area. Whatever happens, happens. Okay. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start making Marines. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted, guys. This is where people fall apart and they get distracted. Don't get distracted. And it's okay. Make your orbital. Like, if you keep hearing bases under attack and you keep seeing red flashes on the minimap, you can deal with it. But for the time being, don't fixate on chasing someone's unit and be like, I gotta micro it. Don't do that. Okay, so we just uh, added in our other barracks now. We made a tech lab on our factory. We added in our racks and a group four. And we can take one SCV. We can actually re-rally our SCVs down to here. We can even drop some mules at it. Make a couple of SCVs. Let's put a couple extra SVs on the gas, and let's take one more off of the mineral line and put it on the natural. Okay, four, five, four, five, make tank, make marine, all that stuff. Make SCV. Let's make another depot so we don't block, because again, supply is ramping up faster and faster. Every time we make an additional building, our supply goes quicker and quicker and quicker to maxing, or to, to getting supply capped. Okay, so let's grab this SCV, and now let's make a starport. Let's make a tech lab on this building. And we added it in, just like we always do. We build the building, we add it into the production control group. So we can produce out of it ASAP. Four, produce Marines. Tab, produce a tank. Five, make sure we're making SCVs. We are. Let's queue up another round, because the first round's about to finish. And there we go. Make another depot. Maybe even like a second depot. Get coins at rally.io. Yo, Mr. Uh... The mess, the mess, the little TG MG. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't really read that. Thank you very much, dude, for the uh, for the buying Viper coins. Much love, dude. Mame. Okay, so let's siege our tanks. So we can siege this tank. Forget about it forever now. Move this tank here. Hold Shift and it hit Siege, and it will get there and it will siege because it's a queued up command. There we go. Let's forget about our tanks. Maybe let's take select all army and attack the front of my natural and rally on my racks to the front of my natural so we can cover our tanks properly. Okay, keep making marines, make SCV, make a reactor on our starport. And look at my uh, my my base, right? It's fully saturated, so let's make another command center. And what's happening? I see red flashes everywhere. Okay, there's a reaper running around my base. Sick. Again, don't worry about it. A lot of people tend to lose their units all the time. Like, it's dead. I didn't have to do anything. So, all we're doing is, again, we're just trying to make sure we're macroing the whole time. And remember what we like to do? As soon as we increase our gas, let's increase our gas expenses. Add gas to make gas. Or, it's rather, make gas to add gas cost. You get the point. Like, it's, you don't overdo it. You try to make sure you, your build flows. Your build doesn't, like, run like crap. It, you want it to make sense, right? Okay, so let's add these SCVs to gas. Can even make like maybe like one or two more depots. Siege another tank. And now, uh, there we go. We can get our upgrades here. How's this looking? Almost done. We can re-rally all of our command centers over here to uh, properly to set up our third base. And look at our money. It's it's actually being spent pretty well this game. I'm making uh, medevacs. I'm making marines. Let's get combat shield, because that upgrade I heard the upgrade was completed earlier. And we're good to go. We have a lot of mule energy we can use. We also have some extra SVs here, so let's grab two off. Let's send them to our third. Let's drop a bunch of mules here. Okay, and let's make an orbital on this base. Make an orbital. There we go, we're good to go. That's a lot of income again right now. So now look at our money, and now it's going crazy. Now our money is going nuts. I can't spin it anymore. It's starting to get really, really insane. So now what we should do, if we want to properly run this, is we, sh we should just add on more racks. Just literally go like one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Again, it could be three. Look, watch, it could be three for all I care. It doesn't matter. Just add more on when you, what you feel comfortable with. As you do this more, it will make more sense to what makes sense. It'll be like, you'll know like, oh, I can actually afford five more racks right now. I can actually afford four more racks right now. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to make sense. And what makes sense? If you can't, if you have too much money to spend, make more ways to spend it. But if you don't have enough money, or sorry, if you don't have enough uh, money to spend the ways that you already can spend, make more money. So we're never we're never going to the negative side. We're never going to the side of things where we go, oh, we have way too many ways to spend our money, but we just never have any money. We're never going down that road. It's like being in debt all the time. Let's go, uh, go, go. We're always giving... Up. We're all, thank you, uh, Nico Ball. Thank you, dude. We're always going down the road of having more resources than, you know, like a lot of resources. And when we can't spend it and we're like, okay, it keeps going up. Now we just add to it. So now we can go ahead and add some reactors. And we're getting attacked. So let's go ahead and suck the army and go to the third. A move the third. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just keep making SCVs. Keep making units. Keep making medevacs, whatever. And now let's get our upgrades. We need an armory. So let's make an armory. And look at my money. I still can't spend it. It's getting crazy. Let's go ahead and make another few more racks. Because I just can't spend my money right now. It won't go down. So I just made an extra like five racks or something. Doesn't really... Again, it does not matter. Just watch your money and go... If I can't spend it, add more... Just add a little bit more. Don't go crazy and add like 20 buildings. Only do that once you max out. But... While you're waiting to like, you know, spend your money in the early game, you can definitely add more here as you go. So now we just hold down the marine key, we hit tab, we hold down the medevac key for a little bit. We hit control click all these racks, shift them into our control group for barracks. Now we're at 11 buildings in that group. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer some SCVs over, make a couple of SCVs go here, a couple of SCVs go there. And we can grab some more SCVs, we'll shift again, and we can grab both the middle line. Now we're at 16 to 16, perfect. Set them down here, make a plan or make a yeah, planetary fortress, and then have an SCV build at another command center. Rerally all my SCVs to this base. Keep making SCVs. We're almost done, guys. We're at 78. We're really close. We can make a bunch more reactors for all those racks we just made. We can make upgrades for uh, weapons and armor. And yeah, just be making units. We could also make some more depots. Just a few more because we're almost maxed. Each depot represents eight supply. And if you do the math right now, what did we just do? We made three depots, which is 24 supply, which is going to take us to 200 supply. Because 180 plus 24 is Command over 200. It's 204. Okay. <laughs> SCV counts currently at 84, guys. Let's make one more SCV uh, as soon as our supply depots open up here. So one more SCV. All right. Just kidding. There we go. Now we're 85. I made two for a second. Now we can take another SCV and go, hey, let's build another base. We can rally all our current bases on this base. Any mineral field that depletes, let's send it down to the base we just made right here. Because it's about to finish soon. So now this is good. This needs to be fixed. Uh, that's good. Let's send it all down here. We can also drop a bunch of mules at a base that is up already. So they don't long distance mine. There we go. We dropped a bunch of mules. And now let's take a marine on each side and go scout the map. Be like, hey, when do you go down the right? When do you go down the left? Because, we're, again, we're looking for where we want to attack right now. So I just grabbed the marine and I, again, I'll, I'll, I'll do it right now again. I go marine. Hit A. Now my Marine's being told to attack move right now. Okay. And instead of dragging my screen all over the map, I do it off the mini map. I go A, click. I don't click yet. I just hit A. Move my mouse all the way down to the mini map. Hold shift. Click. 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 And now my Marine's being told to go check every base on the left side of the map. That's exactly what I did with this Marine as well on the right side. And now I'm checking for where his expansions are. I can remake, or I can make marines and max out. I can start upgrades here pretty soon. We, look at all my marines in my base too, right? Wait, let's re-rally, get, get all my new buildings over here because we forgot to do that. And now where's my opponent's base? Is there a new base somewhere close by? While this is happening, maybe we should go ahead and build more production because look at my money. I have 7,000 minerals. So let's, we can, uh, okay, well, we already found his base. So we can just descend that at first. If you found it, you can send it out. We can A move. Shift A move, shift A move, shift A move. Or you can, in your base, A move, shift A move, shift A move. They both work. Uh, it's fine. Grab some SCVs and let's make some barracks again. So racks, shift, racks, 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 racks. Let's make like another starport up here. We can hold shift and we can make all these SCVs go mine this this area over here, which is fine. Because again, it's an open mineral line, so open mineral line is good. They'll eventually go mine a good mineral line. We also have a bunch of mule energy. Let's go ahead and throw it out there. Our army's in the fight. Let's stim pack. 
Forget it. Forget about it. Forget about Relied it. Relied on your previous B2 GM series a ton for Zerg slash Terran. Love that you're at it again. Thanks, Vibu. Yo, Satch. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Glad you liked it, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, we can start 3-3 upgrades. We can start tank upgrades. So in case we get counterattacked, those tanks can help us defend ourselves. Uh, and we can drop some more mules. Wherever it makes sense. Drop them wherever I see open mineral, like just mineral patches. It does not matter. We're always checking our mineral lines just to make sure everything's optimally saturated either way. Look at the supply, right? Let's make a bunch of marines. Let's make let's make uh, some medivacs. And now with some of our racks, let's make a couple tech labs. Tech lab, tech lab, tech lab. Let's make a bunch of reactors out of the other racks. We can also rally point here. Just to organize a rally point. Make a bunch of reactors. And currently we're getting attacked by a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and select the army and go A move. And we can step back once. Just keep macroing. It's totally fine. Keep making medevacs. Keep making marines. And do all that stuff. And now look at my CVs. We're still good. Look at my bio. We're still okay for now. Okay. My bio seems to be dying a lot as we engage. So maybe we should rally here instead. Because our bio just keeps walking into his army and dying. And if this happens to you where you're like, Oh my god, Vibe, I'm getting so confused right now. This game is getting wild and crazy and it's it's overwhelming me. What you can do is you can go like this. You can rally things and do your base, okay? Just like, like so. Rally into your base. And then somewhere else, click your production and rally it somewhere else. Just click it. Control click it. And that's totally fine. And just keep making units. Keep making units. And now, if we're going to start losing production as well, because our base is starting to get compromised, let's just go and do this. Look at my money. We can make more production. Because if, if we have too much money and we can't spend it, well, that sucks, right? So how about we just make more production? Also, let's go ahead and expand again, because we could probably use another base here pretty soon. How's SCVs looking? Still pretty good. Still pretty good. Keep making units. Keep making medevacs. Keep making marines. Keep making all my bio. Keep making all my units. Oh, we're oversaturated. We're, let's fix that. Send it over here. Okay. So we're getting attacked again. So let's A move my army right here. And let's stim pack it once. Stim pack. And then go back to macroing. This looks like it needs to be fixed. That's good. We can rebuild the command center here because it died. Keep macroing. Okay. 3-3 three, three is almost done. Uh, SCVs are idle. So let's send them over somewhere new that we just built. Okay, we can make a lot of reactors again. We have all these racks that we might have needed. Make a bunch of rack or a bunch of reactors on these racks. That way we're super safe. We're super safe. And what happened? We just out macroed that fight. We literally just out macroed that fight. Now that we're maxed out, let's go ahead and A move his base. Shift A move his base. Shift A move his base. And let's keep macroing. So look at my base. Look at my economy. This needs to be fixed. Good. Let's, we can set it there. This is good. This needs to be fixed. Send over like four SCVs somewhere else. Let's just build a command center here and write on, like, click it there. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Just as long as it's a base that's going to have efficient mining going on. Okay, let's make this a planetary fortress. And let's go ahead and drop a bunch of mules here. How's the SCVs looking? 82? Let's make three. Let's right click them up to here. This base needs to be fixed. Send eight away. Let's go over to the new base we just made. Okay, my bio's in the fight. Let's stim pack it. We're a little late to the party to stim pack that, but it's totally fine. These two racks need to be fixed. Let's make a couple of reactors on those. Because again, we just want to have like four or five tech labs and then like all reactors. Okay. And nice, dude. So he just went for like a counter all in base trade type situation and we crushed because we just, and the reason why Here's, let me show you why. It's because of Remax, but let me show you why. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So he attacks me. It's all good. 
It's all G. It's fine. Uh, nothing too crazy happening right now. SCV count, though, is massively in our favor. Because, again, what are we doing? We're doing a mineral-focused build, right? Mineral-focused build. Mineral-focused build. That's what the point is. I don't know what's going on here as well. Uh, but yeah, our build super mineral focused. We're going for marines. We're going for uh, command centers, SCVs, depots. All mineral focus, heavy mineral focus. Yeah, then we push out with our army. We attack. He's going to destroy us right here for whatever reason. I don't know what happened. All my medevacs flew in and died. So my bio is now by itself. Again, we're not micring anything, so this is going to happen to you a lot. Uh, this is why I... This is exactly why... Disclaimer alert, this is why it's easier to go mech uh, up to Diamond League. Because, again, you shouldn't be micring. And this kind of shit will happen to you sometimes. Like, medevacs are just going to be like, Fuck, see ya! See ya! Okay, now our army's pushing forward. We're pushing into a bunker and some tanks. We're also concaving on the ramp, like... Choke pointing hard there. Stim pack is over right now, so our Marines don't no longer have stim pack. And again, we're not microing anything, right? We're not microing anything. Because that's not the point. You know what the point is, though? Watch this. Look at the supply right now, okay? Look at the supply right now. You, it looks like we're about to lose the game, right? You're like, oh my god, vibe. Oh no, dude. I think you just threw the game away. You're dead. But look at this. We have our opponent is on five racks, two factories, and one starport. And out of those buildings, two of those racks, so only three of those five racks actually have add-ons. There is two reactors and one tech lab, and then it's two naked racks. The two factories have add-ons, which is one reactor and one tech lab, and then the starport has one tech lab. So some of his buildings don't have add-ons, which is going to reduce the production value of what these buildings can do. Now look at our base. We already have nine racks, and out of our nine racks, every one of them has an add-on. We have one factory and we have one starport, and they, they also both have an add-on. So the point I'm trying to make here is, and also look at the production. In production, we have 11 more racks, all literally very close to finishing. So we're about to go to 20 racks, or sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, it is 20. To, we're about to go to 20 barracks versus 5. That's a lot of difference of production. Which is why, even though it looks like we just threw the game away right here, where you're like, oh, Vibe, you're dead. Vibe, you're dead, dude. If, if anyone was casting oh, this game or watching this yeah. game, they would think we would be dead right now, right? Keep up the good work, Yo, devilish face. Kamaji, thank you for the 3 month 3 sub, dude. Much love. You would think we're, we would die right now. You'd be like, oh, Red just threw the game away. He's, he just threw away his whole supply lead. But look what happens. Look at the supply, how fast it fluctuates back into our favor. <laughs> so battle cruisers even teleport forward and they start killing my, all my tanks. They start killing my SCVs at my natural. Things are going poorly, right? You're like, oh my god. But look what's happening right now, guys. Look at production tab. Look at the production tab. This is what I talk about all the time when I talk about tunnel vision versus multitask. Players that are upper level players will multitask. They, you have to be able to do that to be a high level player. And a high level player is like Masters League Plus. Diamond players, even even Masters players struggle with multitask, but I, I feel like Diamond, a lot of Diamond players don't even multitask, but they try here and there. Platinum and below just don't multitask at all. It just doesn't happen. So my opponent is going more or less all in with this shit. He's going more or less all in with this shit, right? He's like, I'm gonna kill ya! And look what we're doing. We're cranking out like crazy with tons of production the entire time. And half my Marines are walking into death because I'm not even micring them. I don't care. I just... Eventually go suck the army a move. It's fine. It's not a big deal because we will outproduce our opponent over time. This is also why I tell you to make tanks because these tanks saved our ass right now. The battle cruisers killed all my tanks except for one. But even though we just have one, this one tank is just pounding the fucking army of the blue player repeatedly as he tries to enter my base. It's just like shot after shot after shot. And look at the production, look at the production, guys. Look at that production. Look at supply. We were down by supply earlier, and now we're up by supply, and I'm the one who looks like he's dying right now. It looks like I'm dying right now, yet I'm somehow ahead in supply. Why am I ahead in supply? 
because my opponent hasn't produced a single unit in the last like the 40 seconds. Again, we're talking about habits. Develop good habits for yourself. Makes a world of difference. Look at the production. Has it moved at all for blue? No. It's a, this is he's he doesn't have to be all in with this, but he's treating it like it is one because he's not multitasking. And every single time one unit dies for him, it doesn't get replaced. So remember again, remember how we took the fight down here and I was down by like 20 to 30 supply? I'm ahead by 35 supply now, and I'm the one who is still dying. I am still dying. My natural just died, but I'm going up in supply over time, and he's going down in supply every time. How does it make sense? Because I'm fucking making 32 marines per cycle. <laughs> I am cranking out bio like crazy right now, and my opponent is building nothing. And I still have a lot of SCVs to sustain this. Which is, again, why I tell you guys we want to go for about 85 SCVs. 85 SCVs. You can macro out of so many problems. You can literally get out of everything with macro if you just do it. Look, the supply value is increasing. I'm now 38 supply ahead. Now I'm even further ahead. It just keeps going up. And I, my base is fucking... My reactor is dying. My depots just died. A racks died. Another reactor is dying right now. My base is just getting pounded right now. But now I'm in the 150 supply range, and now he's in the, the 80s. He was in the 90s, now he's in the 80s. And I was in the 140s, now I'm in the 150s. It just keeps getting crazier. Like, we just keep getting more supply. And again, look at production. I am still cranking non-stop units here, and my opponent is building nothing. This is this right here that what you're seeing is exactly like I want you I hope I hope if you're someone who's looking to get good at StarCraft if you're if you're watching this right now and you're going damn I want to get to Diamond I really want to get Diamond League this time around this is like I hope it's giving you an epiphany as to understanding that macro is superior because I'm doing nothing micro wise Babel here Babel clusters big laser I hit legit. I'm not even stim packing half the time. I'm not even using my units. Part. Like some of my marines are spawning into death, and the other my units over here are just standing there. They're just watching my other units die. Like they don't even care. They don't even care. And the reason why I'm still going, and I'm in the 60s. And the reason why is because I am cranking out of production like in a madman. I am just full committed to producing, 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 producing. It's just macro. My opponent has not built a single thing in the last, like, two and a half minutes. And for the last two and a half minutes, I've been building the entire time. So although he punched a hole into my natural and then also punched a small hole into my main base, I'm just fucking going up in supply the whole time. I'm just holding down the A key for Marines. And all the only thing I did was I rallied my, my barracks. I went, barracks, rally over here. Other barracks, rally over here. That's all I did. That's way easier than trying to out-micro this with low supply. Look at the supply, guys. He's still in my base. He's now killing add-ons at my third, and I'm about to max out. We're almost fucking maxed, and check it out. He's at 70 supply. He started this with like 120 supply or something like that. Now he's down to 70, and he's also built nothing in the last like three minutes. And now my units are on a move. Select all army, A move. As you can see, a lot of them are just sitting there. Some of my armies got aggroed up there. My units are just body aggroed at this point. But I'm maxed out, guys. Suddenly, I was at a 30 supply disadvantage as my opponent pushed out and was killing my base with teleported battlecruisers. And it turned into a situation where I'm quadrupling my opponent's supply almost. Between tripling and quadrupling. And it's because I macroed. And now he's dead. So again, StarCraft 2 is not about trying to win the game with one army. It's not about trying to win the game with one army. It's about trying to have endurance. It's about being able to remax and remax and remax and remax. It's about always maintaining production as a priority. The only time you should ever micro your units, the only time you should ever micro units is when you can multitask micro and macro at the same time 
if you have to micro your army to not macro at all, that is it's something you need to practice and get better at. Otherwise, you're never going to get if you like I don't want you to think that it's a good idea to just not macro while you micro, because if you do that again, that is that is the, the fallacy of Starcraft of low level players. That is why people don't that don't understand how to play Starcraft. That's why they'll never be good at the game if they always think of the game that way. You have to macro in this game. You can't just not macro. And then now when we push, it doesn't even matter. Again, we're not microing anything. We just stim pack when we get here. That's all we do. Uh, and then it doesn't matter what goes on here. He just doesn't have enough supply to stop this. We have a maxed out army of marines, and he's got, uh, you know, a couple units, like a Thor. So he's super dead. Macro, boys. It's all about the macro. Don't freak out. Okay. Another TVT. Good God. Hey, Vibe. How come I couldn't watch the VOD from yesterday? It's a guy one, man. You can watch the uh, YouTube videos. Those are up. Those up. They up, dude. And again, what are we what are we gonna do, guys? Have you caught on to what we're doing yet? We're gonna macro. <laughs> we're gonna macro. Macro, dude. This is why every anyone who's ever gone to like a higher level player stream or talk to someone, and you go, "How do you get better at this game?" and they just give you the answer, macro. I mean, it is true, but what I I feel like that last game you just saw was a perfect example of what that means in a real game I should have lost but that's assuming my opponent will macro while attacking me because if you take a really bad fight in StarCraft 2 on paper you should lose for that but that only makes sense if your opponent can play the game properly and if your opponent doesn't macro while they micro well, they don't play the game properly and which means you can win even though you make a huge mistake with your army which is exactly why I want you guys to macro instead of micro because it takes all decision making out of the game and it puts the game into a very repetitive cycle of learning, oh, I can just do the same thing every game as a default and get good at the game. Like basically, macro is like the static environment of what StarCraft 2 is. It's the thing that repeats itself over and over and over and over and it never changes. It's literally static, it's, it's, it's continuous. It's, it's always the same thing. But when you attack your opponent, that is always different because it's based off what your opponent does as well. So it's much easier to learn how to play StarCraft 2 if you do it in the environment that is always the same exact thing. It's like learning a boss fight. Like if it's like fighting AI, it's like, oh cool, it always does the same exact move every time. I can time, I can like have like mental timings for what's supposed to happen here. I, I can master this. But if you try to fight a person, and then a different person, and then a different person, and then a different person, you can't master anything because everybody's different. And you got one guy who goes for one weird build, and another guy who does something completely different. So you cannot... It's way harder to deal with an uh, actual person than it is to deal with a sequence uh, that's always the same. Oh, and the, the biggest yeah. thing of all... I'll tell you, I'm trying not to forget my point here. One Came second. back to SC2 recently and watched her 2019 B to GM just yesterday. Keep tear up and thanks for all her streams and guides. Yo, very bitter. Thank you very much, dude. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you're having a good time. Thank you so much for the support, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, much love. Uh, what I was saying was... Uh, fuck, I lost my point. <laughs> More or less, more or less, macro is required. It's required, okay? It's it's required. But, uh, it's also the easier part of the game to learn. 
And it, it, again, it is required, so you will, you will not be good at this game if you don't do it. So again, all we're doing, guys, five, make SCVs, four, make Marines. Making a couple tanks here and there to start the game off. Let's make a, uh, meta, or a starport, so we add the distance to our control group for number four. Let's put our tank on the high ground over here, it's fine. Shift, siege that bad boy. So as soon as it gets there, it sieges. And we're supply blocks, so we can just be like, cool, let's make some depots, that's fine. We can even drop down a call supply, just to avoid the big nasty supply block that we just had. Again, call down supply is fine if you fuck up your supply. If you're like, oh, dang it, I missed, I messed it up. Call down supply is better than just saying supply block for like 20 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and siege our tank. Make a reactor on that starboard. Let's make a couple marines. Let's make another tank. And this time we'll stop at three tanks. So let's actually deselect the control group of our factory right now. Just take it out and never touch it again for now. We don't have to use, or, or we could use aliens again this game. It doesn't really matter right now. It's not what's important. It's just making units is what's important. Uh, it doesn't have, Hellions are like the addition, but for now it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're fully saturated. So what does that mean? It means we expand again. Let's go take another base. Okay, tank can go right there, hold shift, hit siege. It'll get there in siege when it gets there. Okay, we can take our expansion. We tell the SV to mine the mineral patch. We also shift in the command center to our control group. Make a couple of uh, medevacs and marines. Take our gas, and what do we do with more gas? More gas cost things. Upgrades. Shift click my SCVs that are making the engineers back onto the mineral line. Keep making SCVs. And, uh, you know, just watch my money for a little bit. Is our money able to be spent right now? For the time being, yes it is. We're, we're doing a great job of spending the money right now. So it's not yet time to add on more racks because the only way we could add more racks on is if we stop producing out of our buildings, which is not what you want to do. You do not want to stop producing as, as like a, you know, a default. If you fuck it up and you just forget to produce, that happens. But definitely try to get better and better at that so you don't do that very often. But don't just not produce because you think it's important. It's time to take more racks, so let's not build units out of my racks we already have. That's a bad idea. Always produce. But now, because you will eventually build up more money than you can sustain. It always happens if you play macro builds. And now look at look at what's happening. I'm producing right now out of my buildings. Everything's pumping out of every building we have. And my money is starting to go up. I can't spend it as well anymore. And now... I'm having a problem spending my money, so what do we do? That now, let's add on like five racks, because now I can actually uh, afford it. Because it, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. This is something you guys got to understand as well. Not only is my money going up a little bit more now than what we already have, but it's going to keep going up because we're still making SCVs. It's going to keep going up. Okay, so he's attacking us with some banshees, so let's go ahead and suck my whole army. A move in the area. Again, who gives a fuck? Forget about it. Just macro don't tunnel vision we can start an armory why are we starting an armory because we started upgrades and we want to make sure we can go to 2-2 we want to go to 2-2 let's go ahead and start uh our racks okay so he's still over here so what can we do suck the whole army a move towards the banshees and let's get ready to scan it because he's in the area still <laughs> keep making scvs don't tunnel vision. I know this, this guy is actually probably playing the most annoying that anyone's played so far. Keep making SCVs. Four, five, four, five, four, five. Don't tunnel vision. And go, okay. He's still here. A move and scan. Okay, my command center is burning. Let's get a couple of SCVs to repair that bad boy. And now, if you're, if you're like, okay, vibe. Banshees are super annoying and I don't like them. If you see your opponent's going for air units and he's harassing you like that and you're like getting tired of scanning your base all the time, you're more than welcome to do this. Make one turret. Make one turret. Make one turret. And now look, look at the mineral line. We're fully saturated. What are we gonna do? We're gonna expand again. So we can make an expansion. Let go of all your keys and mouse. 
Hold shift now. Hit build turret. Let go of shift again. Hold shift again. And then put it on your uh, your uh, mineral patch. Right click the mineral patch. Okay, let's make our marines. Let's make all our stuff. Not enough let's go ahead and make our gas here. Not enough minerals. Get our upgrades going. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Keep making Not SCVs whenever we can. We can drop another call down supply because we're about to block. Pick up more depots. Bad news. Get combat shield. Look at my rallies here. It's all messed up, so let's re rally here. Ready for dust off. <coughs> let's get some SCVs on these gases. And let's right click my SCVs to my other base. Okay, something just happened here. Uh, so let's move my arm out here and see what's going on. Okay, there's widow mines. So we can go ahead and scan. Cool. And keep making marines, keep making um, medevacs, keep making all that stuff. Make tank upgrades for weapon upgrades for tanks. And again, we're just chilling. We're just chilling out. This base is now done over here. Let's make this a planetary. And let's take like another base. Okay, let's select our army and go in that area again. Okay, more widow mines. So let's go ahead and scan again. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. I mean it's doable, right? It's we can handle this. Why? Because again, all we're doing is macroing. We're just we're not focusing too much on what's going on. We're just a moving the area. And if you also play against someone who plays like this, and you're like, okay, this guy, vibe, this guy is super, super duper annoying, you can do things like this. Make a couple turrets between your base. What this will do for you is it will give you detection fields around your base. It'll just help deal with things that are annoying, like someone who's making widow mines all over the place. You can even make another one like right here. Again, it just helps you deal with people who make widow mines. Or anything cloaked, like Dark Templars. Uh... Stuff that runs around your base cloaked and is just annoying. Is like bur Mineral burrowed roaches. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop Mineral mules on the mineral line. Let's go ahead and make our bio. Upgrade. Make our medevacs. Transfer some SVs over that are oversaturated. Same thing with this base. Come up here. Let's take another base. And let's grab this SV that's building the base. And, okay, he's dead. So let's select my army and A move that area. We can scan again. Okay, we can even step back my entire army to kill it quickly. Go back to macroing. Again, we don't want to micro a lot. We don't want to micro a lot. Now let's A move one marine to the right side of the map. Let's A move one marine to the left side of the map. I set it backwards again, but it's fine. And now I'm maxed out and we're waiting to find out where his bases are. And let's, okay, well actually there's a base right there. So let's A move, shift A move, shift A move, shift A move. That's a super far base from the main. That's the other corner of the map, so let's just go attack that right now. Let's hold shift with may while we make barracks. Let's get our macro going, because we have a lot of money, and we want to make sure we can spend it. Okay, shift right, click the mineral line. We just added in a bunch of racks over here. Okay, so we just got eight more racks. We're at 15 in total. We can make like a starport right here. Make a couple more racks. Make a few more racks on this side. And now, how much do we have? We have... Research complete. Uh, 23. Completed. Sick. 23, guys. We're at 23 production buildings. Okay, so let's check our upgrades. We started level 2 weapons for tanks. We start 3-3 three, three for bio. Over by 2. Fix that. Send it down here. Maybe make a turret as well while we're at it. Shift-click the mineral line. Make this a planetary fortress. And we're good. Get ready to make a bunch of uh, tech labs here. Tech lab, tech lab, tech lab, tech lab. Reactor, reactor. And, okay, so now we're losing SCVs. It's okay, guys, guess what we can do? You know what we can do? Watch my SCV count. Remake SCVs right now. All our command centers are selected. Just remake SCVs, make army as we go as well. Make army, make a reactor over here. Make a bunch of reactors on these racks. And just make army. We can rally all our racks as well, like over to here. Okay, we can try and make another command center here because we did try it earlier and it died. 
We can also rally over here because this is also a fresh base. Let's uh, transfer some SCVs from this base that are over to any base that's open. Full. Just grab some more because it's full. Go down here. Okay. We have a little bit of a situation going on here. So let's select the army and let's go to defend that really fast. And we can even stim pack it just to get it going quicker. Again, we're not micring. Just select the army. Go, 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 go. Okay, the problem's been dealt with. Let's go ahead and repair. Shift the mineral line. Let's go ahead and repair that. Shift the mineral line. And let's make marauders. Let's make marines. And let's make medivacs. Drop some mules on everything as well. Grab a couple of SCVs off this base because, again, it's over. Go over there. Let's rally all my SCVs over here now. It's because, again, it's a new base. And what are we on? 85 SCVs. 85 SCVs, boys. Oh, we're over by four again here. So let's grab four SCVs. Uh, so I selected two mules and four SCVs. Here's a trick I can do to fix this. I can either shift click out two mules or I can hold control and I can click one of the SCVs. And it just selects a subgroup of SCVs in the selection I just had. Now I can right click the mineral line over here. I can make a turret over here as well. Make a planetary. And we're good to go. Now look at my supply. We're maxed again. So this time, let's go ahead and A move this. Shift A move that. Shift A move that. Here, here, here. And why did I move that way? Because I just killed the left side of the map a second ago. So a good technique, when you're not really scouting and you're just trying to like keep pressure on your opponent, is to a move the left side, a move the right side, a move the left side, a move the right side, a move the left side, a move the right side. Like you just literally rotate it left, right, left, right, and you do a like a sweep over all the expansions that are possible to exist for your opponent. Now we're getting really high on saturation on all of our bases, so let's go ahead and take this base. Shift, make a turret at it as well, and we're good to go. Our army's engaging, so let's go ahead and stim pack. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get upgrades now. Now that we're 3 3, we can get building armor and building range, which increases the effectiveness of our turrets and our planetary. Let's pull off a couple SCVs. That's good. This base needs improvement. We need to get the gases going here. Okay, let's get one more SV on that gas, so there we go. We're good. Mineral field depleted. And yeah, just remax every time we hit, can remax. Oh, this base is fully done, so let's send these SCVs up. Uh, we can transfer some of these SCVs even further up here now, because this base is almost done. And we can even take another base again. Let's go and take this base. Make a turret at it. Shift mineral patch. Okay, we're just and we're just macroing again. Well, we're we're maxed out again. Maximum Our supply, SCPs guys. Are we are at attack. maximum supply. Geyser Look, oh, I'm not maxed anymore, but watch. In like two seconds, I will be. And next, the first wave of Marines are popping out, and there we go. <laughs> maxed out again. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're, we're over by two. B2 GM. We're over by three the whole here. Reason I'm subbed. Yo, thank you very much, Moo Moo Cows. Appreciate you, dude. 818, bro. Hell yeah. Thank you, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our army. And uh, let's A move here first. Because, again, we checked the right side last time, so let's check the left side. Go there. Shift, they move the natural. Shift, they move the main. Okay, we can upgrade our tanks to give them more weapon upgrades. And, again, if we ever get counterattacked, guys, these tanks are going to own. They're going to do great. They're going to do big things. Transfer some SCVs because we're oversaturated here. Uh, send them somewhere else. That base is... Uh, let's send them here and try to build a command center. Okay, we're engaging the enemy, it seems like. So let's go ahead and stim pack. Okay, and we can just... Every time something dies, remake it. Fix an SCV. Send it over here. Make a command center. Make a turret as well. And now we're just main. We're doing maintenance, base maintenance. Oh, look! Look at my look at my uh, orbital energy, guys. It's super high. Let's fix that. GG. GG. So now what we could do, what we could do is we could just go to a base that we know is fresh or has a lot of money at it. And drop a mule on like every patch. There we go. We have tons of... We have jackpot all over again. Tons and tons and tons and tons of... Income. Mm. 
Medivacs don't really work with this A-move strategy. Yeah, they don't really work very well at all. My Bio is very uh, micro-based. Um, it does need micro to work properly, uh, which is why I gave you the guys the disclaimer that mech is literally easier to get the diamond with. But once you get the diamond, you s we start. We'll, we will actually start microing properly. Uh, uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. All right. Let's look at the supply. So our opponent's hiding two bases on us right now. He doesn't even have an expansion of his natural, but he's hiding two bases on us at the moment. And check this out, right? Look at this. Double gas. Double gas in the main. Double gas on the first hidden base with five SCVs on the mineral line. This kind of stuff is what I'm talking about, where I'm talking about efficiency of build. And that's the that's that's why if you do builds like that, where it's just your build efficiency in terms of resources is just down the drain. You put yourself in a weird position where you will always have less supply over someone who is just doing standard macro. Always. Because they don't have enough money to make command centers like you can, to make SCVs like you can to make depots like you can, which is why I already have 149 max supply. He has 85. That's why we have more SCVs, and it's why we're also ahead by 30 supply. And what did it, what, what was the... B2GM maxed out a move gang. Yo, Maple Tech, thank you very much for the 100 bits, dude. Thank you, thank you. And what, like, realistically, think about it. What was like the culmination of this build that the opponent did? It was two Banshees. This was the culmination of it. Now, these definitely did a lot of damage, but overall, even though it did a lot of damage, we're still in a pretty good spot, all things considered. So we had to scan it a couple times, we eventually kill it. We still have, after losing, 13 workers. We still have a nice 6 worker lead, and we still have a 30 supply lead overall. So like, we're still in a great spot. This is just annoying to play against, for sure. 100% this would be annoying for most players to play against. I totally get it. But at the same time, like you shouldn't really worry too much as long as you don't tunnel vision defense and you just go, oh, cool, how about I just keep macroing? Like, losing units is expected. It's like, this is way too much production. I'm just looking at his build. You can't sustain that. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah. We'll times eight this now to the end. But there you can see we're maxed out versus another turn who's at 115 supply. So we're basically doubling supply again. This is where things get crazy. Now he's evacuating, lifting off, going somewhere else. Which is totally fine. Our bio continues to go forward, is getting picked apart by Widow Mines, getting picked apart by Banshees. We're not paying any attention to this army, so we're not scanning at all. Which, again, it's totally fine. Because look at this, guys. Even though we're losing massive amounts of army right now, and he's even repairing, like, upgraded bunkers, but they do both break. Uh, the Banshees are still wrecking us. The Widow Mines are coming off cooldown. Well, butter my biscuit vibe. Thank you, Maple Tech. Thank you again, dude. It does none of this matters because overall, once again, look at production. It's always about the production. Production is always, always, always your priority. And we're just cranking it like crazy here. So we're just look at that. I, I, I fucking can remake the army that just died in two production cycles. Which is like forty seconds. And it's suddenly maxed out again. And then we scout. We, we didn't scout. We just attacked the other side of the map. Because we attacked the left side and our army died. So now we attack the right side. 
and then our army dies once again. But again, this this you just wear your opponent down over time when you play like this because he he just killed a maxed out army. Great series as always. Thank you very much, uh, Mike Oxynormous. Thank you for the five, dude. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. But I mean, okay, where was the army that just died? Right here. Okay. So he guys, I'm maxed out, right? We are literally maxed out. I am maxed out. My entire army that's maxed out comes across the map and it all dies over time to the Widow Mines and to the Cloak Banshees and my army's dead. And guess what? I'm maxed out again. As it dies, I am already maxed again. You cannot withstand this repeatedly if you don't set up proper macro in this game. I, I know I'm a broken record. I know it's repetitive, but this is, you have to, you guys have to like, one of, like, I feel like some of you might click on like the first game. Some of you might click on like the eighth game, but I, I feel like all of you who stick around and watch it long enough, you're all going to realize it over time that macro is what is the superior tool to use. And it's what will, it's not even just like the game. This is all StarCraft 2 is. This is just Bronze League. It, it like this is what StarCraft 2 looks like a lot though, all the way to Platinum League. Platinum and Bronze are very similar. They are. And they're, why are Platinum and Bronze similar? Because the production tab. Nobody builds anything in Platinum and well, Platinum to below. If they, no one builds in the production tab in Platinum to below when things are happening. Like they just don't multitask. It's super common. And if you don't do that, if you don't set up a proper base and a proper macro el uh, element to your gameplay. How can you ever deal with someone who just A-moves you with max at army after max at army after max at army after max at army? Cloak Banshees won't save you forever. They start slowly whittling away and running out of energy and dying. And now suddenly he can't hold anymore and he dies. So it will always break your opponent over time. Every, every time. Noise, 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 noise. Uh, yeah. I don't know it came natural for me, but it's starting with microing something simple first. I definitely don't recommend microing. Microing, again, the, re the reason why I don't like microing, people, people just like, I feel like they don't believe me when I say that players don't multitask. They really don't. Players, oh my god, we got a Protoss, guys. I think this is the first Protoss we've played. Uh, with Terran, at least. Players do not multitask. They don't. In lower leagues, they don't multitask. And why can you not multitask? Because you can't macro. You can't macro in the first place. Like, if you can't macro properly in the first place, you can't fucking multitask. I don't think Vi oh, I'm seeing the stream delay right now. They're like, he said it. He oh, lol, Mike Oxynormous. Mike Oxynormous. I yeah, I yeah. Uh, I actually didn't catch that the first time, but I know it. now. I, now I get it. <laughs> I have a little bit of stream delay. I'm trying to avoid getting stream sniped throughout this entire series, so the stream delay is gonna help me do that. Sorry, boys. But people on YouTube won't realize anything, but people on Twitch will. Sorry, guys. What do you mean by teaching micro? Everything. How to micro, when to micro, what is over micro, like what uh, you should do to prepare for micro, pre micro. There's lots of different kinds of micro. It's it, there. Uh, there's lots of. It's also concept concept of how to play the game. Are you doing a hyper aggro build? Are you doing a timing build? Are you doing a greed build? Are you doing a defensively postured build? These things are all things we're gonna. They're not gonna talk about in bronze. They're way above bronze level. We're gonna talk way more about all these kinds of concepts probably in like diamond league and like masters league. It's way above. Like if you're platinum below, guys. Seriously, if you are platinum below. You need to work on your macro. That's all you got to do. 
Fix that fucking macro, dude, because your macro is why you're there. It's it's rough to hear it. I know people hate hearing that. But if your macro cannot take you to Diamond League, something's wrong with your macro. You're doing something off. Can't pinpoint exactly what it is. It's probably just that you're not up you're you're not maintaining 100% uptime of your buildings. You're probably miss, missing that up in some way. But you're not macroing if you're not able to just get to Diamond League off of literally nothing else. The game is super basic until Diamond if you just have good macro. I would like a Kaniac combo with an extra cane sauce and one extra Texas toast. Also half sweet tea, half unsweet tea. Also one spicy chicken deluxe with medium waffle fries with Chick-fil-A sauce. You know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Chow and Pho, thank you for the, uh, the dollar dono. I'm not going to lie. I actually uh, didn't know you could get an extra toast until uh, like two days ago when I brought my brother with me. And he's like, give me an extra toast. I was like, what? You can do that? I didn't even know you could do that. So that made more sense to me right there. Thank you very much for the dono, dude. Okay, so we're just macroing, guys. We're microing. We're microing. Four, five, four, five, four, five. Don't forget, oh, ever, ever. Yes. Four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Smile. Yo, fart. Skidmark. Thanks, dude. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Skidmark. Okay. Add that starport into our control group. Let's pick another tank. Make some more bio. Make some more SCVs. Don't stop macroing, guys. Four or five, four or five, four or five. Again, all, what do you? What, if anyone out there who still doesn't know what would I mean by four or five, you're like, what the fuck does four or five even mean? Four is all my production. It could be whatever. It could be one, two, one, two, three, whatever you want to do, whatever makes you happy. Mine's four or five. I like to leave one, two, three, four. Or sorry, I like to leave one, two, and three open for army micro, uh, which I'll do way later in the series. I, li I actually feel more comfortable microing with one, two, and three with my units. Four is my production. Five is my uh, my command center. But. All we're doing with four or five, four or five, four or five, is we're going. Is there white dots in the command center? Yep, there's little white boxes filled in there. It means something's in production. How about the barracks? Yep, there's three things in production there. Let's make some more because we need to have a second round because it's probably gonna pop soon. Nothing's in the factory. Let's make something out of the factory. And look at the starport. It's about done. It's, the reactor's not done yet, so we gotta wait for the factory. It's fine. But we're just making sure there's always like a little tiny check mark in the factory and the starport and the barracks. Always, 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 always. Not gonna lie, I'm diamond and macro is still my problem. I know it is. That's what I'm saying. Like, people in diamond can't even macro properly half the time. I'm dead serious when I say that. So that's why whenever people that are, like, legit, like, gold or something or, like, silver, they're like, no, 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 just teach me macro vibe. I'm like, bro, you can't just jump the gun and, like, expect it to work. <laughs> that might, like, if you learn how to micro, there's no guarantee that's gonna even make you better because if you can't macro, it doesn't mean anything. That's like the sad reality of it that people just some people sometimes people just don't want to grasp. Okay, so this time let's actually go back how we were originally doing before, and let's make hellbats this time. Okay, we, we kind of skipped like this, just wanted to show you guys you don't need to do this, but we are gonna start doing this more as we go through Terran. We're gonna use factory support units for our pushes with bio, and hellbats are super easy to use because they walk with your marines. So first of all, let's uh, let's re rally our command centers to our third. Let's grab two SCVs off this base to fix it. Four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Produce units. Um, let's make a couple more barracks. Three more racks and then armory. So this way we can go into Hellions. Let's get blue flame. Four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, four, five, four, four. Oh yeah, I forgot. We got to do a engineering base. So see, I fucked the build up, guys. Whoops. I started my natural gas. And I didn't pair it with engineering bays. Well, guess what? Upgrades are late now. And it's fine. Totally fine. Just get it. Try to remember to do it. But it's... I mean, we st we're still getting it. It's just late now. But it's okay. It's totally fine. We can still make it work. 
Let's go throw down some depots at my third. Keep making SCVs. Four or five. Four or five. Make medevacs. Control group my or control click my barracks that I just made. Shift four. Add them in. Make more SCVs. Okay. And now start upgrades for bio, weapons and armor. Start weapons for factory. Let's go ahead and start combat shield now for bio. Four or five, four or five, four or five. Make marines, make uh, all my make Kellyans, make medevacs. And look, we're fully saturated. What's that mean? Time to expand. Let's go ahead and uh, drop some mules here at this base again. Make SCVs. Four, five, four, five, four, five. <laughs> now let's build a couple of gases because we're fully saturated. We can even build a couple of depots. Maybe like one more. Four or five. Maybe like another depot over here. Again, we're kind of in a supply block right now, so we gotta definitely fix that. Yeah, let's get smart servos on this factory. Smart servos is gonna help as well with Hellion transformations if we ever need to do that. And here's a cool trick as well. When your factory has just the factory, you can make a Hellion. But when, you're, when your armory now finishes, you can actually start making Hell Bats. So what we can do now with our macro cycle is make Marines and then Hell Bat and then Medivac. That could be our macro cycle. And the, the big reason why you want to have a Hell Bat over a Hellion is a Hell Bat has more health than a Hellion by a lot. It has 135 compared to 90. <laughs> Hellbat also does more damage than Hellion does. It does almost double the damage. And the reason why is because it turns into a melee unit. That's also good because it gets in front of the Marines. And also, it has a different kind of splash damage. It does like an arc, like a cone in front of it, rather than a single line. So it has more realistic damage AoE against melee units that also run into it, like Zerglings or Zealots or something. And then finally, the biggest thing of all is, if you shoot a Hellion with a Marine, it's just going to take damage. But if you shoot a Hellbat with a Marine, Medivac seal it. And if you transform a Hellion into a Hellbat, it still is damaged and it gets healed by Medivacs. So Hellbats get healed by Medivacs, so they're amazing tanks for bio. They're, they're, they're nice to have. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, build a command center. Again, let's transfer some SCVs over. Just grab a chunk of them and run them over here. SCV count is looking pretty good. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. Transfer these SCVs over. We're way oversaturated in the main base. Build a couple more depots. Start some upgrades again. Uh, fix my rally point. Let's actually get a couple Marines as well. Go and scout the map right now because we're almost maxed out. So we want to see if or like where we're going to get ready to attack here pretty soon. Like wh where is my opponent located? Where, where that base at? Where, where it is? Okay. Just about done on SCVs. We're really, really close. We can even take another base. Okay. And we're just about maxed out. Getting very close. We're eight over here. Actually, now a little bit over than that. Let's transfer these SVs to this new base over here we just made. And we just found a base. What's going on over here? I haven't seen anything yet. It's okay. And now we have a lot of money, right? What are we going to do with that money? Make a starport. Let's make a factory. Hold shift. Make a barracks, 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 and barracks. And now we can do this. Cannon, cannon, battery. Cannon, cannon, battery. Now shift move one zealot across the map. And now we are maxed. Let's increase our production so we can remax. Now F2 and shift a move is natural. Shift a move is right. What? Shout out thank you for the, the support, dude. Much love. Sounds like you are a B2GM expert. <laughs> okay, so I just shifted in all the production here. And I found his base. There's, so there's this base and this base. So let's select my whole army. A move this base, shift a move this base, shift a move this base, shift a move this base. I could have also done it on the mini-map if I go like this. A move here, shift a move there, there, there. Okay, his army's here. Let's stim pack and forget about it. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Let's macro instead because that's what's important. Let's make like five or a total of five. So four more tech labs to add to a total of five. Make a bunch of reactors and start making marauders and marines.
add-on complete. Okay, let's get level three weapons. And let's get level three weapons and armor for not only Hellbats, but also all the bio. We can rally all our units to a new rally point with all these new racks we just made. We can get concussive shells for our marauders, because we never got that yet. We got a lot of mule energy. Let's fix that. How many SCVs died? Only three died. It's not that bad. Let's make some new SCVs. Let's rebuild the base that died over here. Shift, move my mineral line. And make a bunch of army. Cool. Again, we're macroing. We're focusing on that. Everyone right... I, I can't tell you how many times I've coached people that in this situation, they always look at their army and they stop. Like, look how many things I've been doing since this fight started. I have started upgrades. I started all those add-ons for my base. I made a new army. I fixed my SCVs that were uh, oversaturated. I made a new... I, made, I, I fixed that base that died. I've done so many things since the fight started. I didn't have time to sit on my ass and do nothing. And like, just try to micro this army down here. No, 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 no. It's not the priority. So many times, so many people make that the priority, and it's such a bad idea. It just screws you over so hard. Okay, so it looks like our army is uh, ma just still maxed out. Let's go ahead and just A move the natural. Select the army again. A move the natural. Shift A move the main. Because we're just waiting for the next fight to start. There you go. We got a planetary back there again. Let's go ahead and take another base again in like bottom right because uh, the reason why is uh, we're mineral. We're still depleting mineral fields. Gases are going to start depleting soon as well, so we need to still have S places to send SCVs to. Like we're we're constantly upkeeping the SCVs. We're just trying to understand what it feels like to need to manage an economy. Look, I'm, I need to max out again. Check it out. Let's max out. So we just made a bunch of marauders. We made a bunch of Hellbats, we made some Medivacs, and now we're, we're also making a bunch of Marines. So, with all this production we've given ourselves, with every building building something, we're maxed out again. We're maxed out again. Like, we just stay maxed. We're maxed out again. Okay, and now we'll just back it up really quickly to you know see the fights. Oh. And yeah. concept is still the same repeatedly. It's still just the same. Sup vibe you yep. vibe happy vibe happy vibe happy vibe happy. Yo, Choyito, thank you for the uh four month reset, dude. Welcome back. Welcome back, dude. Welcome back, dude. <clears throat> so we'll go back and watch that fight really fast. Sorry, I kind of sped through it. So here was the fight that happened, okay? What happened in the fight was... Look at production, okay? Watch production. We're both building stuff because no fight has happened yet, right? But now watch when the fight starts. Supply 148 to 189 at the moment. He made one Tempest. We made a Hellbat and two Medivacs. And a bunch of reactors and tech labs. But I mean, both of our armies got kind of like split off from each other. Like they both kind of like divided. He ended up killing one of my bases because of that, which is okay. But look at the macro. He hasn't made anything besides this one Tempest. And that Tempest got started like as the fight started. He started the Tempest, like here we go. He's now making Zealots. That's good. This guy's actually doing better than most, I'll say. He's He is macroing a little bit during the fight. But we are cranking out like crazy during the fight, which is why... Remember how the fight started and we were at 189 supply? Guess what, guys? The fight's almost over. The fight is almost over right now. And we're at the same supply, pretty much, we got, we started at. But my opponent is down by, like, 50 supply from where he started, right? Something around there. 
and it's still dropping. And it's really because, I mean, there's just... This is this is this is a situation where the guy did make enough economy. He made a decent amount of economy, like not perfect. He made a decent amount though, but he just doesn't have enough production to actually spend it. So that's the situation where if like you're like, okay, I can't spend my money anymore. Even if I maintain a hundred percent uptime out of my buildings, I still can't spend my money. We'll add more production then. That's when you add more. Everyone's always so confused about when to add more production. If you are making units out of your buildings. 100% of the time, like you're constantly pumping, 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 and you're spending your money doing that, it's not time to build buildings. But if you're constantly spending units or making units out of your buildings by spending your money oh, and your money's yeah. not going down and is instead going up, it's time to add more production on. That's simple. It's as simple as that. And so many people do it backwards where it's just like, they don't build anything. Their money goes up and they're like, oh, I got a lot of money because I haven't built anything for the last two minutes and they build oh, way too much. Or they just never build I enough. I like your hoodie. PLS marry me. Okay. Uh, Steakhouse, thank you for the prime. And uh, Enzu, thank you for the bits. Appreciate the proposal. And we're maxed again. So as like the fight ended, we're maxed again. It's just... This is what... Proper production does for you. This is why I say make 20 to 24 buildings every time. Because we're developing an economy and it's all about remaxing. And now my opponent will never keep up with this. Ever. He'll never keep up with this. And the biggest reason why he can't keep up with this is not just because, oh, he doesn't have enough production buildings. Like, that was what's a piece of it. But the main reason why he can't keep up with this is because he's lost control of the game. Which means he's lost control of his bases. <coughs> so now, at this point, if I just keep macroing and uh, making sure my economy flows properly, I can maintain an economy that is absurdly high, and I can keep throwing my bank account at him until he dies. Because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bases versus two. So, it, like, you just can't win from here as the other guy. So it, it's trying to not, it's, it, again, this is where endurance comes in. Like, you just keep expanding, you keep macroing, and you keep trying to take bases with money at them, like income coming out of them, oh, and just producing out of your yeah. buildings. Your vids have made this pandemic tolerable. Yo, Typhon, I see. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support, dude. I'm glad you like them. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Does Vibe just allow himself to lose to cheesy all ins from Smurfs? I have, yeah. If, if I'm playing, so here's the thing. If I am playing someone who is cheesing me, who's in bronze, trust me, I have a very low chance of losing. I would say there's probably 1% chance that I will lose. And the reason why is because it might attack and I, I it might screw me over in some way, which is, that's totally fine. If it happens, it happens. It's totally fine. It's This build is not supposed to win 100% of the time. It's just supposed to make you understand the game better so you can improve at the game. But if I play against someone who is genuinely, like, way above the league I'm playing in, I'm not going to go, okay, guys, guess what? I'm just going to play like a gym player now and beat that guy. I've, I've, it just defeats the purpose of the series if someone smurfs. And then I play way above my league. It doesn't make any sense. Additional supply depots required. It's on his way to zero MMR. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a. Uh... Okay then. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's not it's not supposed to be like if I play someone who uh is playing at a pace that is faster than what I think this league can handle, I'll just keep playing the pace that I think this league can handle and I'll lose. Uh if it if it comes to that. 
which is fine. It's all good. It's it's okay. It, it is what it is. It's it's not the point of the series is not to watch it again. I want to make sure people are clear about the point of the series. It's not for me to show you guys how I can style on low level players. It's not like me going to watch how good I am, guys. Let's do a speed run to GM. Watch how fast I can do this. I can do it all fancy as well with all my units, like a micro, like, you know, I can beat this guy losing zero units or whatever. I'm not doing that. It's literally about giving you guys a guide. And it doesn't really serve the purpose of giving you a guide if I just play way above what you can handle. Because you're not ready for it yet. It doesn't make any sense if I do that. So, yeah, I won't, uh, I won't just change my play style because I'm playing a smurf. Okay, let's make a depot. Let's make a depot. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Excuse me. Oh, I wouldn't take a gas. Whoops. We need to take a gas. My bad. Uh, league do you, what league do you think it's okay to start throwing in some all-ins league-wise? Diamond League. I think Diamond League is when you should start doing a little bit of all-ins here and there. Like, learning how to play aggressive. Again, if you... What do you... Well, like, just think about it like this, okay? I've been saying this so many times, and I'll say it again right now. What does it require... For you to attack somebody. It, it's one like logical term that I want you guys to really understand. And the only way you can attack somebody inside StarCraft 2 is if you multitask. And if you can't even macro properly because you're stuck in Gold League or you're stuck in Platinum League because your macro is not good enough to get out of those leagues and you try to start all people... You won't even be able to do the all-in properly either. And it's the harder way to play StarCraft if you're doing it aggressively over defensively. Defensively is so much easier to play StarCraft because it's the same... Like I said before, it's the same thing every game. It is the same exact thing every game. There's no deviation. If I, if I say my build is going to be Depot, Racks, Gas, Command Center, Factory, Depot... It's, I can do it every time. It, there's nothing that changes that. It's always that, always that, always that, always that. It's repetitive. But if you attack your opponent, what if your opponent goes for a greedy build? Or what if he goes for an aggressive build? Or what if he goes for a defensive build? Or what if he goes for a timing build? What if he plays all these different kinds of ways? Get coins at rally and time. you're like, oh god, how do I deal with this? I don't know. It's different than how I had to deal with that. Or how do I deal with this? It's different than how I should deal with that. It changes drastically everything you should be doing so if you don't even understand how to macro flawlessly yet like with if you can't consistently macro well you shouldn't be trying to do more than that on, on top of everything else it's it's gonna just fuck you over it's like a negative for you it's gonna hurt you more than it'll help you you should only really worry about disrupting your opponent's build when you can do it while maintaining your own build at a very good pace. In vibe you coin from rally .io. That's, yo, thank you very much, uh, Georgius, for the uh, the vibe coin. Much love, man. That's actually a really good way to say it. Let, let me say it again. This is a, this is a true concept in StarCraft. You can only properly disrupt your opponent's build through attacking them. If while doing that, you don't disrupt your own build. But if you're at a level in skill. Where if you attack your opponent to disrupt their build, it also indirectly disrupts your own build because you just fuck up your macro. You're not ready to attack people yet. You're not ready. Your macro needs improvement. You need to get so good at it that it's like repetitive, 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 repetitive. Like it needs to be second nature to you. You need to just be able to like do it without thinking about it too hard. And how do you do that? Repetitiveness. You do it through repetition. Mass amounts of repetition. Which is why every single game here in Bronze, I've done the same exact thing. 
And I'm going to do it all the way till platinum. I'm just going to slowly add things onto it as we go. That I feel like will be uh, doable. Trying not to overwhelm people here. And again, all, what have we been doing so far? Uh, this whole time I've been talking, what have I been doing? Four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five. Make marine. Make tank. Make medevac. Those things. Make a CV. Lilu dialas multi pass. Man, it sucks playing a stream delay. You guys make me laugh with some of the shit I read in chat, but it's so delayed when I respond to it. Okay, we're maxed on, uh, we're like pretty much fully saturated on the natural, so what are we doing again? Expanding to our third, because we're going to keep the economy rolling. Keep that economy rolling! Okay. Make marine. Make a tank. Make everything. Make our gas at our natural. And what do we do with our gas at our natural? Because now we have more gas to spend. Ready for Upgrades. Let's get a couple more depots. We don't want, again. We don't want to block. We're doing a pretty good job this game of not blocking. Yep. Let's keep it up. Research. Good. This game we can just say screw the Hellbats again. It's whatever. Again, we'll do we'll do more stuff with the factory as we get higher level. I just want you guys to know it's optional. The only thing that's mandatory you need to do with the factory right now is you need to set up tanks. In the front of your base. If you're if you're in bronze league or you're in silver league or gold or whatever, we're gonna do this all the way to platinum through platinum. If you're anyone in platinum or below and you're like, vibe, how do I keep dying to all ins? Well, make tanks. If you're doing this build and you die to an all in and you didn't make tanks, you're like, I'll skip that part. Don't skip that part. It's pretty important. Yo, R Steel, thank you, man. Made diamond last night. Thanks for the help. Interesting to see Bioterran in B2GM. I hope it helps and reaches more people this way. Oh, it definitely reaches a lot of people, I think. Like, a lot of a lot of people uh, just were just frustrated with Terran when they got to Diamond uh, that were not someone... Who, like, so, some people just were able to make push through it and they were fine, but there was some people out there as well that were like, Vibe, I just kind of fell apart in Diamond League because I didn't know how to play Bio. It happened, for sure. I got I got told that by a few people. So I imagine it happened to probably a good chunk of people. Which is why I wanted to do bio the whole time out through this time. Okay. Again, four, five, four, five. That's all we're doing, guys. We're get we're develop like th let me think of let me tell you like this. Do you notice that every time I'm responding to chat or every time I'm talking to people in the stream, I don't even think about four or five. I just do it. That is what you need to do. Just doing four five four five four five. That is not like GM level tactics right there. That is like, that's just proper macro. And the sooner you learn this, I, I don't. And also, by the way, I don't think you'll be able to do this very well either in bronze, or in uh, even even in platinum. I don't think you'll be able to do it very well. Which is why I'm giving you guys very. Also, I'm giving you very soft maxes, just to throw it out there. And see how it says we can max out in 11 minutes. We could genuinely max out at probably like 9:30 if we did this a lot more efficiently. Which is, again, it's it, there's room to build, right? We're slowly building ourselves up as a player. And uh, that's the whole point of everything we're doing. It's, it's just growing ourselves. Like, we're learning what's a, pr a good priority. And we're, we're focusing on it so much. And we're trying to master it more and more and more and more and more and more and more. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and scout the map on the left and the right side. So I can scout all the bases. This is going to show us if my opponent hides bases. People love to hide bases. It happens all the time. Okay, let's get our upgrades going. 2-2. Two, two. 
and get vehicle weapons going. Nice, nice. Let's get another command center going. The command center was a little bit late, I would say, because this base is way oversaturated right now. So, and I'm I'm still waiting on this command center. So, command center is a little bit late this time around, which is it's okay. It is what it is. Transfer a couple SCVs over because we're about to transfer a lot of SCVs away. We could mine these patches out now, and we can start getting ready to saturate this base, which is totally fine. Okay, let's lift it right there. Let's build a new base like right here too. Okay. Uh, we can now drop a bunch of SCVs over here. Just green box a bunch of them. We actually managed to get it perfectly. If I didn't get it perfectly, let's say I got this instead. I could just be like, whoops, right click back to the middle line. One, two, three, and we're good again. So you can fix it easy peasy. All like no matter what you get, you can you just just be quick about grabbing it. I would say try to just don't be the guy where if I have to grab 13 SCVs off the middle line, don't be the guy that goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't do that. Just grab a chunk, and if you don't get enough, grab more. There you go, easy. You just add more, add less, or remove less. Whatever you got to do. Okay. SCV count is basically done. We're at 81 right now. We're about there. We can drop a bunch of mules at this base. Okay. And then now we found his base. So let's go ahead and get my army kind of grouped up. Let's also build a bunch more barracks right now because we're fully saturated. On uh, our... Or we're, we're like already maxed is what I meant to say. Okay. Let's get some more SCVs building barracks that are natural. Okay. Take another base. Mineral Make this a planetary. Field okay, we're good on SCVs. We're at 85. Uh, let's A move his base right now. We found where his bases is. Where his bases are. So let's A move this. Shift A move that. A move that. A move that. Uh, we checked every other base on the map. There was no hidden base that we saw. We can transfer a few SCVs from this base to this base. It's totally fine. This base needs to go down there. I kind of messed that up. Send it back down. It's fine. Take another base again. Uh, we can just build it like right here. It's all good. Because we again, we want to transfer SCVs, right? Constantly. Let's add all our racks into our control group and our starport. All of the production. Let's make one, two, three, four tech labs. Mass reactors. Just hold the C button down for reactor. And tab to our starport and hit star, uh, reactor as well. Oh, my army's fighting, so let's stim pack. Cool. We just we just hit stim pack hotkey because our army was under attack right there. We just hit stim once and call it a day. If you don't hit stim, it'll make your army weaker, but it's still doable. Yeah, let's go ahead and start macroing during the process again while we're waiting for things to get set up. Once all these reactors come online, that's when we're going to start exploding like crazy with supply. Okay, we can even take another base. And there you go, look at, here comes all the reactors. Now watch my supply. This is the power of reactors, guys, and all that shit. So we're at 147, and now D, A, tab, D. Suddenly we went from, we just jumped like 40, 50 supply up in just moments. Uh, so the quick max is coming again really fast. We can also re-rally everything. To the front of the base because we just built a bunch of new buildings so we don't want it all to rally like standing on the base like that and now again we can go back and look at the fight and how it went so again our opponent and i are both going bio right but this just comes down to this look at this i again i don't i'm not going to show the name okay or i mean i guess you've already seen the name but doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you guys efficiency of what makes sense. Take a look at the main base really fast. The main base has oversaturated mineral line because it's almost mined out. It's got double oversaturated gases. This, in my opinion, is a, it, it shows you this person has very little emphasis on base management in the main base. It's like, ah, fuck it. It's all good. It's fine. If we go down to the natural... We have two SCVs mining minerals, and we have six SCVs mining gas. Now, this is very little. Like, so we're at 11, almost 12 minutes in the game, and we have uh, four 
active, efficient SCVs. Because, again, 7 doesn't matter here, guys. It's really the 4. 4 SCVs are getting efficiency here. You can't have, like, 60 SCVs on one patch and it's all efficient. So how, they don't, SCVs don't mine over each other. They wait their turn. So you're getting, like, 4 actual efficient SCVs here. And you're getting 2 SCVs here. So nothing at this point in the game has really happened. Nothing's really happened right now. And at 12 minutes in the game, our opponent has 6 active SCVs mining minerals. He went, It's like going backwards. And that's fucking rough for you as, you know, as an economy. Because you're comparing an economy that has 6 SCVs mining minerals to an economy that has 6, just in my main only, with 7 more at the natural. There's a lot of SCVs building buildings right now, too. Plus an additional 17 at the third base. So one of those is kind of shitty. Plus one over here. Plus 20 over here. So four of those are kind of not great. Like, like, the point is, is this is why, this, this is a situation where, like, this build would never keep up with us. And, like, what are the units that have been made? It's four Marauders and, like, 60-something Marines. How many Marines is this? 66 Marines. 66 Marines and four Marauders. One Cyclone, one medevac. This is not gas costing stuff. This does not cause gas. This is just a thing where it shows you if you know how to play efficient StarCraft, if you know how to set up an efficient build, there it is. This is why, like, if you just, like, this this is the kind of stuff where th this person's problem, RoboDroid, RoboDroid, I love you, man. Uh, I hate, again, I, I don't like, I feel like I pick on people when I do this, but it's just, it's just a point that needs to be said. RoboDroid's main problem right now is not how he micros the fight that's about to happen or how he scouted my base or things like that. It, none of that is his problem. What his real problem is is that this dude went for no SCVs and the few that he did make are all oh, busy mining tons yeah. of gas. He's got five, nine, uh, 15 SCVs 15 out of his 27 SCVs are mining gas. And then uh, only 6 of those 27 SCVs are actively mining minerals. And the other SCVs are all just like randomly either idle around his base in some way. Or they're oversaturated. Or they're like building a building. Like I don't even know where all the SCVs are. I'm not even going to lie. Where are all the SCVs? I'm very curious. Some of them are in his army. There's one. It doesn't. It, it, but it, you get what I mean. Like this is this this build has no bearing on having this much gas at all. And it's because it's because of a thing like this. It's like the player goes, "I'm gonna make battle cruisers. I'm gonna, I feel like making battle cruisers." And the thing about StarCraft Two is one unit, one unit. No, I don't give a shit what unit that is, but one unit will not beat 200 supply repeatedly. It won't. It will not do that. It does not matter what you have. 200 supply after 200 supply after 200 supply after 200 supply will break anything in this game if it's too small in supply. So when we get to his base, all our medevacs fly in, and they all die, which is fine. Because again, micro is not our, it's not our, it's not the point right now. It's not what we care about. And do you see what happened there? Just just to throw it out there, okay? Just to throw it out there. I'm on A move, guys, okay? My medevacs all fly in and die. That was, you know, obviously bad. If you're if you're a player in StarCraft 2 who's in like platinum, you probably look at this and go, dude, I could have micro that so much better. I could make this so much better. But again, don't fucking do that because it's not the priority. You know what the priority is? It's about remaxing constantly with our production. It's about if this army dies, guess what? Snap your fingers and it is existing again in my base 20 seconds from now. That's what the point is. It's not about trying to micro this as best you can. That happens when you can multitask. I really I have to stress this a thousand times. Multitask is when you can micro. So for now, don't micro when you can't multitask. And look at this. this is also the crazy part too. Check this out. Watch the. This is what you like. To, this is what I would call over micro. Okay, I'm super super sorry, RoboDroid. I hope I'm not picking on you too hard, but it is it is a real thing though. Over micro is not good. 
us being AFK and just A moving this worked out better than what my opponent did. And what my opponent did was he walked his Marines into range of my Marines and he allowed Marines behind my front line to start shooting as well. And he was on move command and Marines kill Marines super fast. And his Marines started dying without actually shooting anything right here. He'll walk down the ramp into me right now. He just walks into me and gets destroyed. And then he walks away. And in that process, about 20 fucking Marines died, I would say. That is not ideal. If you want to know how to, how, like, just to throw it out there, I, I don't want to talk a lot about this because, again, micro is not what we should be talking about right now. But the best thing that this guy could have done for himself, if he would have saw how I was microing this, would, if he's like, oh, this my opponent's on A move and he just lost all of his medevacs, the best thing he could have done is backed his army up to where the calm cave would have been, like, right here, right there, and, like, right here. And why would that make sense? He could have made the edge of my concave right here on the top of the ramp. And you know what that means? I have a very tiny choke point that I'm standing in. So I'm in a convex versus his concave. He has a big semicircle to my inside little mini circle. Like I don't have nearly as big of a concave that he does. If he would have backed up. But he chose to walk into me, which allowed all my Marines behind my front line to now shoot as well. So he... Even if he didn't do that, he would have died either way because he has so little supply. And that, this is where the power of macro comes in, right? But, I mean, look, look at the macro again during the process. We got all of our reactors, all of our barracks coming up. Tons of production coming up for us. He is building a Stimpak upgrade, which is good. But, I mean, it's really late on the Stimpak, but... It, uh, it just, it is what it is. Now, again, the whole point of everything I'm trying to explain is macro always, always, always is going to be the answer. It, it's never anything else at these leagues. It's the easiest way to get better at this game. And it's something that's also mandatory to be good at this game. It's not even like a cheap trick. It's it's literally something you have to be good at later on. Or you'll never, you'll never let. You will never make it far in StarCraft 2 if you can't macro. And look, we're already maxed again. Even though we just lost our entire army, other than like 18 marines or something, or like 19 marines, this is all we have left in the fight. A bunch of almost dead marines. Uh, 19 of them to be exact. But we're not at 19 army supply. We're at 104 army supply. And why are we at 104 army supply? Because we got 4 medevacs in production. We got 5 marauders in production. We got 30 marines in production. And we got a bunch of marine, mara marine medevac and some marauders in my base already out again. And that's why our supply is so crazy, so fast, so high, all that stuff. Macro. It's the king. It's what you need, dude. And now we're bronze one. We're getting closer and closer to silver, boys. Oh, my God. We're two promos in. Only 55 to go. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed bronze two. I hope it helps you. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in Browns 1. Much love. Take it easy. And I'll see you then.